Stacy's <clears throat> mom the movie. Oh, they, ma- they made it a movie. <laughs> Look, they made a movie about Breakfast at Tiffany's. They can make a movie about fucking anything. No, you see the thing is the Christian didn't come first. The movie came first. (laughs) And the song and the song references, hey, the only thing we have in common is we like the movie Breakfast at Tiffany. And the movie No, please, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. (laughs) This this is the, okay, I have to say this is this is officially worse than fucking what was the what was the other one? Food COVID. glorious food with Oliver. No, 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 it was Christian food glorious food from uh, Ice Christian. Age Two. Oh yeah, 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 Christian, please tell me you were recording that. Oh, of course I was recording, which just happened. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. <laughs> I look. That's our cold open sorted out. I, I, I'll say, I will say this. I will say this. Both the knowledge of the song Breakfast at Tiffany's and the movie Breakfast at Tiffany's came in my, probably in my late teen to young adult life at the same time. So, the knowledge of which came first is a chicken or the egg scenario. Breakfast at Tiffany's came out in 1961. <laughs> yeah. The song came out in 1996, I think. And the song came out. Let's see. Uh, 95. You were so close. Yeah. Was close. Oh, just... <laughs> Good. Good evening. Okay, who's in this? Today we will talk about Stacy's mom. Does she? Who has got it going on? <laughs> A game theory. Stacy's mom actually doesn't have it going on. Sorry, we can start now if uh, you've been waiting on that. Oh, and welcome to no, the No, Clanky's the host. Well, he has to do it. I was going to say, don't oh, I get sorry. to do it? Yeah. When you baseball. do it, I'm sorry. You've been usurped! Hello, and welcome to the yearlies. It's a film. I love it. Wait, wow, it's the film. It is the film. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the film. Filmlies. God, I need to do it one more time. <laughs> I need to do it one more time. No, my big moment. <laughs> okay, I believe in you. All right, breathe. You got this. Hello, and welcome to the filmlies. Let's go. Right. I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna give you a low score, but honestly, after the hat trick, I just feel like I. <laughs> if, if, I was you give me anything, if you give me anything lower than a six, I'll cry. So. That's Clanky, I'm giving you a ten, but it sounds like uh, the the yearlies are now on NPR. <laughs> like, <laughs> Hello and welcome to the filmlies. Yeah, I'm Terry right. Gross, and on this episode, we talk to. Oh, no. And don't forget to buckle your seatbelt. <laughs> yeah. Clanky, since you're the host, you can engine. you can lead us around like a pack of five dogs down your neighborhood. <laughs> so oh where goodness. would you like to go? Well, I guess uh, before we get started, I guess the only question to ask is how much experience do you guys have with Disney movies? <laughs> a lot. Oh, that that to, we'll bring that to Mick first. Hmm. Oh. Um. And do we want to read off honorable mentions while we do this? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, I don't really know how to describe, like, what experience do I have? Like, I don't know. Like, what does that mean, dude? Like, <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is, did you grow up liking Disney movies a lot? Did you yeah. not really get into them too much? Like, Yeah, but I, I've seen, but I, fair warning, I have seen almost none of, like, the Disney Renaissance movies. What I saw hmm. were, like, the really early Disney movies. And yeah, then, we like, noticed. The, and then, like, the and then, like the two, the sort of you know two thousands and onwards Disney movies. Um, yeah. So I'm in a really weird uh, position in that, like you know, I uh, like the one exception being The Lion King. Like that's oh, the one like exception it. to like the I haven't seen any Disney. Oh, and The Rescuers Down Under. But other, but hey! most people don't even count that as Disney Renaissance because they because they're they're scum. Um, <laughs> Damn. I, I, I count it. It is. Oh, I had Mick Lowe, that's why I couldn't. But, uh, yeah, so I guess that, so in terms of my, uh, in terms of my honorable mentions, um, I have, um, uh, The Sword and the Stone, uh, Hmm. which is an amazing movie, I love it. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's based on the first book in the Once and Future King series, um, (laughs) about, you know, King Arthur being apprenticed under Merlin. Um, it doesn't really have a 
plot per se. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs it? Oh yeah, I've, I I used to watch it like all the time. I love that yeah. movie. That's cool. Um, let's move um, The Jungle Book, which I uh, <clears throat> used to watch a bunch of. Um, Bare Necessities uh, is pretty. I, I, I'm sorry, I, yeah. I haven't seen The Jungle Book. I've exclusively seen The Jungle Book too. Hmm, oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. I heard yeah. it's slightly Nobody, worse. Damn. And I can't stress this enough. Nobody was in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a direct-to-DVD movie? No, it was in no, no, theaters. No, was in theaters. I saw it yeah, with I my grandparents, and Disney, literally yeah, no, nobody a, was there. Disney had a spit where they tried to do, like, sequels to some of their classic movies, and they released them in the theaters. That's yeah, Return to Neverland as well. Yeah, no, that's what I'm that's what I, I saw that say. one, too. Um, yeah. Uh, what's good? So yeah, um, uh, Jungle Book, um, uh, The Aristocats, which is a okay. Um, is that the one a, with the money song? Yeah, I think. Um, d- define money song. Like, there's this rich old woman, and she like has a butler, and she sings a song about like money is everything you can desire. The butler goes, I know, so, I know. Let me. So let me just give you the the. the the plot of the Aristocats is that there's this old rich woman who yeah, loves her cats more than anything. And she is dying and has decided that she is going to give all of her money to the cats. So it's the plot yeah. of Cat Scratch. Pretty much, yeah. Yes, except the butler doesn't want them to have the money. And so he tries to kill the cats. But he failed well, because he's a failure that can't kill cats. <laughs> like, I, I, I understand not <laughs> wanting a bunch much. of money to go to cats, but I don't understand trying to kill them for it. That... <laughs> he's a dog because, lover. Because they're just cats. <laughs> what are they going to do? Sit on the money? Yeah. Good um, service. You have painted that movie in a whole new light for me. I spent the last 15 years believing that the that the woman was the bad guy. No, no, no. No. Um, yeah, no, no. They, 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 no, she's the, she's the, she's the, uh, she's the good one. She's the um, dead one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like there's also an easier way of like, hey, this person said that the cats get all the money. That's. An, I feel like there's like. I don't think that could be like a legal thing. Uh, yeah. I so, don't know. I'm not a lawyer. Well, so here's so here's so the, basically the idea is that um, we're getting way too much into the plot of this movie. Yeah. Sorry. Um, but basically. Um, the the way the way the uh, the way that her will is written is that the fortune will be go go to the cats, and then reverts to the butler once the, all the cats are dead. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, the the butler is kind of elderly himself, and so he's worried that the cats will outlive him, hmm. and so he decides I have to kill the cats because they're like yeah. they're kittens, as well. Gotcha. Um, there's like a, there's an older cat named Duchess, um, and then three, um, and then three kittens. Who her name? Um, I, Marie and right. Toulouse and one other that I can't remember. I, I, I know, I know. I pressed for more information, but we should probably. Um, yeah. <laughs> Mick can talk about the Aristocats for three hours straight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a bizarre movie. It's a really it bizarre is. movie. Um, more interested in it now than before I asked. Yeah, and then finally, hmm. Lady and the Tramp. Um, yeah. The second movie on this list that has a racial stereotype cat character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to figure yeah. out where the Siamese cats Siamese were cats. from. The si- uh, yeah, that's the thing. The Siamese cats are from Lady and Lady and the Tramp. However, mm-hmm. uh, in Aristocats, there is a there is a cat. Um, there's a there's a cat jazz band, and one of the cats is a Chinese cat named Shung Gong, and um, he plays the drums uh, using chopsticks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Classic Disney. For sure. Well, we'll get into it in this, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, cuz yeah, what are <laughs> some of the movies here are going to have things like that? <laughs> Don't yeah. know what you're talking about. Do we have any movies with things like that? Oh, oh yes, yeah, we, we do. Yeah, see uh, at least yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> I see one. <laughs> Definitely at least one. Mick, let, let me put it this way. I watched I end, I ended up watching every movie on Disney Plus and for all three of your movies Disney Plus felt the need to tell me this movie I has know. depictions of cultural stereotypes. <laughs> These were wrong then and they're wrong now. All of Mix Picks got me too. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's so it's true. The, the thing is, one of them I will say there is I don't think it there's one where I will say I do not think it deserves it, at least for yes. the racism. Same. Which we will get to soon, but yeah, we will. 
we should i guess we should are you done with lady and the tramp and your honorable mentions mick I mean, I, 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 I don't really know what else to say about Lady and the Tramp Lady other than Tramp. it's a, literally a movie about a cat. Uh, a, the spaghetti scene. About two, yeah, yeah, about two dogs who fall in. Like, it's basically just a romance movie, but with dogs. Also, one of yeah. the do- yeah. also, a uh, lady nearly gets killed by a, like, a dinosaur crocodile that's inexplicably in the zoo. It's really weird. Like, <laughs> a giant crocodile. It's unreasonably big. Oh yeah, they're making. They're trying. They're. Oh yeah, they're gonna make a. Uh, they're gonna make a live action remake of uh, Aristocats. Burn for some oh, dear. reason. Burn. Oh, boy. Yeah, because live action yeah. cats movies work so. Quote well. unquote yeah, live action, just like the yeah. Lion King was okay, live no, no, action. There are people in this one. So yeah, I but will... I feel like yeah. if you have the majority of your main characters be animated. No, no, no. I, you no, I, are look, I totally. Guys, gotta stop talking about the Aristocats. <laughs> <laughs> it's a curse. It's the tangents already. The Arista curse. Yes. <laughs> it's the Arista curse. All right. Would you All right. Like to go next? So, uh, Graham, would you like to go yeah. next? Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, my honorable mentions: uh, <laughs> Beauty and the Beast, uh, which Jordan does not deserve to be on the bracket. Yeah, it does. Damn. I, I would have enjoyed I'm watching sorry, it. Messed, I haven't I'm seen it all the way you. through. I would have liked uh, it. No, I, I rewatched it like fairly recently. It's very good. And it is. Like is even it... even the live action remake isn't like like I wouldn't say it's as good as the animated film, but it's not. It doesn't. It didn't feel like as just kind of like yeah. whatever as the other like live action remakes. It's it's probably the it second is, uh, best. Yeah. It's probably the second best of the Disney live action remakes. Yeah, behind 101 mm-hmm. Dalmatians. I hear the Jungle Book one isn't bad. Huh. I heard uh, the same. Mm-hmm. So the Jungle Book one is is really fascinating because they somehow made all the animals, despite being photorealistic versions of the animals, they also somehow made them look like the actual actors. Like it's really weird to look yes. at a, look at a look at a gigantopithecus orang- orangutan creature and say that is Christopher Walken. That mm-hmm. orangutan looks yeah, like was... Christopher Walken. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was born to play. Uh, yeah, uh, then I have, uh, yeah, Mulan isn't on it, and, I mean... I should have put Mulan on uh, honorable mentions, honestly. Yeah, the, yes, the, 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 this, is, the, this bracket, like, even more than, like, any video game, I feel like this is gonna be one of those brackets where there's a whole bunch of just, man, I really wish that was on, uh, yeah, on yeah. this bracket. Mulan's the, good, the, I like Mulan. Yeah, uh-huh. Let's get down to business! Yes. Um... Oh, mm-hmm. that suitcase? I've also played the Mulan level in Kingdom Hearts 2 like a bajillion times because I would always restart it after. I think you that's know one who. of the better Kingdom Hearts worlds. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd agree with you. Wow. All right. Taylor, you're next. You know what? Do me last. The other two have a lot of honorable mentions. All right. <laughs> Christian, you're next. Um, experience with Disney movies. Uh, I'm mostly a Pixar kid, so okay. I actually yeah. ended up watching a lot of new movies for this bracket. And I gotta say, I fucking <clears throat> loved watching all these movies. This was such a blast preparing for this film, Lisa. Right. It was honestly, like, some of the, like, I, I just enjoyed so much watching these movies. And uh, um, going to my honorable mentions, uh, Beauty and the Beast used to be one of my favorite Disney movies. Uh, like, no, my favorite uh, entirely. And it's kind of dropped down a few pegs, I think, almost entirely because it's been, like, what, 12 years since <laughs> I've seen it? Um, so, yeah. Uh Hunchback Did you see it in the theaters when it was re-released in 3D? <laughs> that would have changed my mind. Then it would have been the worst Disney movie. Um, no. Such a I, I got erupted into seeing it in theaters. You can touch Lumiere. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> um, they did the same thing for another film on this bracket. Oh, wow. We'll have to talk yeah. about it when it comes up. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. Hunchback of Notre Dame is on the bracket. Emperor's New Groove Woo. on the bracket. Woo. Um Bolt? Nobody likes Isn't Bolt. Isn't Bolt DreamWorks? No, no Bolt nope. is Disney. No, it's Disney. Yeah. And uh, it is no, a... No, Turbo is DreamWorks. Yeah. Bolt yeah. is uh, one of those movies, very similar to me, like uh, Eddie Murphy's The Haunted Mansion. Um, it okay. is a movie that I owned a DVD of, and my, uh, you know, if you own like three DVDs, and one of them's Eddie Murphy's The Haunted Mansion, the other is Bolt, you're going to watch Bolt a lot. <laughs> so <laughs> I... I watched Bolt all the time. My family loved Bolt, and we got a hamster. We named him Rhino. Uh, so, Aww. yeah. Um, Wreck and Ralph is on the bracket. The Lion King is on the bracket, and I put Home on the Range on here because it's, it's the meme. The movie probably sucks. 
I saw that. It does suck. That's the one with the cows, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. yeah. I don't remember it because I don't think good. it's memorable. Probably it sucks. a good thing you don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> Not good because it is a bad. I think movie. the cows can hit the tires. It happens uh, a lot. It's in Disney. been a fucking while. It's. Right. We have done yeah. Next would be Jordan. Okay, so, um, I basically grew up with a large selection of the Disney animated classics on VHS, ranging from some of the early ones like your Snow Whites, your Bambies, your um. Uh, some of the 50s ones to some of the ones from the Renaissance that, that was then burgeoning, including several of the ones that line my list and therefore this bracket. Um, and in addition to that, I kept up with some of the ones during the sort of quote-unquote second Renaissance, which was tangled through, I guess now, I don't know. Hell yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I like them because I like animation and I am very well-versed in these. I think possibly more well-versed than a lot of people here. So, um, look, I won't argue it. <laughs> that, being, that being said, I do have a lot of honorable mentions because I've watched so many of these. Um, uh, so, a lot of these are is not Pixar. Oh, no. it's it's Disney. Yeah, it's Disney. Zootopia is Disney's animation unit. Um, I would have ranked it higher or vied for the list, but um, some of the themes haven't aged well, and it ties into a That's lot. That's impressive of... considering it only came out it's just like. <laughs> Yeah, but years. you know, it's the kind of thing where it's like, you know, oh, compromise your beliefs and become a cop. Like, I'm trying to get Zootopia hmm. tickets. Hmm. So, but it, it's a cool movie. I like some of the characters in it. They're doing a sequel, so it, there's probably going to be more with that world. And uh, Shakira's song in it is really good. Um, oh, Tangled, I put on here. Tangled's great. Uh, I should have put it on my own. Tangled is important to talk about and um, because it jump-started the new thing we have with Frozen and all the new princesses and things. Uh, it's also a really good movie. Um, I like all the all three of the main characters, including the very, very good characterization of the evil with sort of Stockholm Syndrome mom character played by Broadway vet Donna Murphy. Um, great songs, great visuals, fun stuff. Zachary uh, Levi. put on here? Hmm? What was that? Zachary Levi. Just the fucking Zachary guy. Levi, yeah, he's great there. Tarzan I put on here mostly because it was in one of the other ones I grew up with. Uh, Kick-Ass Score and and Music by Phil Collins. Uh, great characters. Brian Blessed in a Disney movie. Like, yes. Oh, my on. God. Brian Gorilla. Blessed doing a Disney villain. <laughs> I think it's pronounced Gorillaz. It's pronounced um, Gorsh. Also, I just, I just want you to know, like, when you said, like, Kick-Ass Score for a second, I thought you were saying, wait. Kick ass was a Disney animated movie. No, I was no, thinking no, no, that no, no, too, no, no, no. bro. No, 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 no. I was giving Phil Collins the props he deserves. Um, cool movie. Uh, I forget a lot of it, and I need to inevitably rewatch it. But pretty cool. Yes, the rescuers down under. Um, I do consider this part of the Disney Renaissance. A lot of the techniques used in this movie, especially in terms of mixing 3D animation with hand drawn, would be sort of siphoned over to the Pixar unit. A lot of people that worked on this movie would eventually form the team that would make Toy Story Bugs Life, including Joe Ramp. Um, really cool awesome. movie. Really, really, really cool movie. Yeah. Um, and I put The Jungle Book on here, even though it's not a perfect movie, and it's in one of the more nadir periods of Disney animation, in my opinion. This That's a fun movie word. does... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Jungle Book does feature one of my all-time favorite Disney songs, which is I Want to Be Like You, which is one that I could cover in karaoke whenever I damn well pleased, even though it's... I don't know. I, I think I could do that, yeah. Um, it's a fun movie, even if it's, you know, a 60s Disney movie. Um, probably more I left out, but yeah. I like Bare Necessities. Yeah, yeah. Bare Necessities. I can't sing. Yeah. You can. Forget about I, 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 no, not that I can't, like, I can't Just physically. Not today. I can't, like, right now, as in if, you know, if I sing any of these, oh, I'm going to go on wait for a minute. Uh, well, you Taylor, you're up anyway, so go ahead. Yeah, yeah, so... um. When I was a kid, uh, you guys don't, re you may not remember these from your youth, but there were these great things called VHS tapes. I use those all the yeah. time. What the fuck are you talking and, about? Um, I, uh, I, before I could even remember uh, purchasing them, uh, we just had a shelf of classic Disney movies. And so uh, whenever I was, you know, when I was a kid and I'm like, oh, I want to watch this again, uh, I would just watch, um, I watched Cinderella like a billion times. And we had Tarzan, we had, we had Aladdin and, and uh, Snow White, Snow White scared me a little. Um, I don't blame you. It's a little frightening. Um, but um, but I mean, yeah, I watched a lot of those the classics. The scariest ride at Disneyland is based on Snow White. It's true. Yes. Um, 
then, um, then in like my mid years, I kind of fell off of regular Disney and uh, and transitioned over to Pixar. And then as an adult, um, I, I found Disney again every once in a while. I watched Frozen. I watched Tangled. Tangled's great. Um, it is. So I actually didn't have a ton. I, I actually, weirdly enough, had the least amount of honorable mentions. But um, other than the three I put on, the one I um, the one I, I watched all the time for for like a good year. I watched it like seven times or 17 times that year was fucking Pinocchio, uh, okay. which I, I can't explain why I, lo- I loved that movie. I think it was just, it was so <clears throat> odd. And, yeah. um, and it, it actually creeped me out a lot. That the, yes. the, the, the pleasure Island portion at the end of that movie oh, is yeah. like, it is, it is creepy. And the villain gets away with it. I fucking hate <laughs> yeah. the donkey transformations in Pinocchio yeah. so much. No, that's yeah. Transformation really terrified me as a kid. Mm-hmm. Um, the idea of it really fucked me over. So, um, so every time Lambert turned into the donkey, I'm like, Oh shit, that's right. That happens in this movie. Uh, no, I don't want to watch it anymore. But then, you know, uh, then they go into monster. Like there's a lot of iconic set pieces towards the end. And then and, last, um, and then last year, three separate Pinocchio movies came out. We don't talk about those. It was really no, weird. no, no. The Guillermo del Toro <laughs> one. The Guillermo del Toro one was really good. How could you not like it? Yeah. Mussolini's in it. I <laughs> can't. It's true. <laughs> Cards on the table. I haven't seen it. It's so good. It's oh, it's probably probably when do good. I get? When do I get to go on my own? Grant's well, talking about the that actual also, best that Pinocchio. That one is also really good, but for the opposite reasons. <laughs> um, and I think, the couple of, uh, I think the couple of songs in Pinocchio are fun. I got yeah. no strings, strings to hold me hold down. down. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Wait, does it fall down the stairs? What the? <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> does. That's what happens. He he says, "I've yeah. got no strings to hold yeah. me down," and then he just and falls down the stairs. He doesn't even finish the word <laughs> "down." <It's>, yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, but then he sings it right. Okay. Yeah. And then Mussolini shows up. Oh, no, sorry. Like getting, the, getting the wires <laughs> crossed again. I'm getting the wires crossed again. Getting wires oh, crossed because Pinocchio. Um. <laughs> all right. So it's I've like seen he... all sixteen of these movies. So I didn't mean to, yeah. but I did. It won't happen yeah, every time, but it happened this time. I got a few rewatches in too. I'm pretty proud. Same. I tried watching all of them, but I did not end up watching all of them. Okay. Uh, I mean, I think the only one I've never seen in any shape, way, or form uh, it was the Three Caballeros. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to you that. Know. The great Graham, don't worry. You don't really watch the Three Caballeros. <laughs> You, oh, you experience God. it. You experience it's true. it. It's true. I mean, if all you've right. seen one Caballero, you've seen them all. <laughs> all right. uh, I will say, I guess uh, just to... I, have, I have seen most of the Three Amigos, so I'm going to assume it's that movie. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Exactly. We'll get yeah. Not even close. I will say, just as a bit of a disclaimer, if not for us, for the viewers. Uh, yeah, we're spoiling all these movies, so yeah, keep that in mind. Oh yeah, no, oh no, we're spoiling the Three Caballeros. <laughs> Can you spoil all the three caballeros? No, you can't, because that would imply something happens. Why did you put it on the bracket if look you at really it, look into it? Look into it. <laughs> Let's do that round first. No. All right. So, jumping into uh, the very first round, we have Peter yeah, Pan, which is a Mick pick, and Wreck It Ralph, which is a Taylor pick. Who would like to start? Um, I I don't mind. I. I don't mind who goes first. All right. Um, All right. Which one? Which one do you think we have more to say about? I have a lot to say about Wreck It Ralph. If so... you guys can't decide, I have something to say about Peter Pan. Okay. All right. We'll start with Peter right. Pan then. All right. Sounds good. Starting in three, two, one. The one sentence thing. I just want to make very, very clear because I know uh, some people judge these movies. You know, pe- people vary how they judge these movies depending on like you know context of the times. I want to make it very clear. I am absolutely judging Peter Pan for its racism and docking points for it. Uh, and yeah. I want to make that clear yeah. before yeah, I fair. vote. Same. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I um I-, I blocked that out from my childhood, quite frankly, because I, I we all did. It, weirdly enough, this was one of those movies that I watched 17 times on VHS tape. But when I watched it the other day, I couldn't remember. The only thing I remembered, weirdly enough, um, other than Captain Hook, who is an amazing villain, um, oh God, yeah. mm. is um, the following the leader song. Dee-dum, huh. dee-dum, well, yeah, that, that is like one of the earliest brain worms. Yeah. yeah. The rest of the soundtrack's not great, but... Um, <laughs> I don't uh, actually remember any of the other songs, actually. 
You can well, fly. You can fly is pretty cool. There's not a lot of. Yeah, there's not there's not a ton of songs in the movie. Because, you like, know, I, I actually um, I thought there were more. Like I, I I had it in my head that like when Peter Pan is giving them the dust in the kids' room, I thought that there was a musical number at that part. And then I'm like, well, where's the musical number that I clearly remember? In my kid, I remember Michael belts out a verse. Like, no, what, what's going on? Maybe it's in the stage show. I didn't see the stage show though. Although I did okay. have to go look up. I won't grow up afterwards. Yeah. Um, I will say Peter Pan, like, if, if there's one thing I will, I think that, and that most of us can agree on, um, <clears throat> it's that this movie kind of, like, this movie is so hard carried by Captain Hook, he he must be the strongest oh human God, alive. It's me! Yeah. But I, and I, <laughs> I also so, like Tinkerbell as a villain, but... Tinkerbell it, fucking sucks. I hate Tinkerbell is great. I love She's a horrible character. Movie. You cannot convince me otherwise. The thing is, Peter Pan and Tinkerbell have just had this contentious relationship, and they're just sort of like, you know, they or won't they? throwing the shit. Yeah. Well, no, they're just maybe they're going through twenty breakups at once over the course of the years of being alive, yeah. and they're just throwing <laughs> these kids in the middle of it, essentially. I, what a, this is just a very very side. Hedge. I play the game of villainous with my friends, and like oh, yeah. we're all having like a lot of fun uh, with it. Uh, one of the things is like everyone commenting on like all the other villains are like. Yeah, they're like they're evil, and they're trying to do like evil things. Captain Hook is trying to kill kids. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and everyone, everyone was just kept mentioning like, yeah, it's, it's a little weird. That, well, does like, he want to kill kids? Goal? I mean, he wants to kill Peter Pan, but Peter Pan yeah. fed his I mean, hand to, to a crocodile. To be fair, those kids are little bastards. So, yeah, I mean, they're they're like, like, they're like, little snuggles. Yeah, they're like hundreds of years old. I believe in the right environment. Captain Hook could be the good guy of the story. <laughs> so probably. Yeah, I'm a codfish! Hooray! Can, can, can I actually talk you. about the movie? Yeah, yeah. Then? Cause, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, you know, look, I get it. Um, but I, I, I kind of, I kind of like to, you know, talk about the film's like merits as a film beyond, oh, you know, it's racist and, um, uh, what's it called again? Um, oh, you know, the, the character, the characters suck and there's no songs or anything. So, um. <laughs> What I else is this... there? <laughs> An no, no, no. Somewhere. We're not talking about Don Bluth yet. <laughs> is that an attack? Yeah. So uh, I used I, I watched this movie a, uh, a bunch when I was a kid. Uh, I I love the movie. Um, I think there's there there's something about it. I I think that is it, it, it it's a it's a very comp complex movie. Like there's a lot of moving parts in it when you think about it. Like hmm. it's got a <laughs> let me mean what I uh, let me uh, explain what I mean a lot of there's like kind of like there's a bunch of very different conflicts going on in the movie where you have so Captain Hook <laughs> wants to kill Peter Pan um, and in doing so he's going to use the kids to get to them Peter Pan doesn't quite have an actual like normal person motivation um, like he just kind of like, hey, I'm gonna bring these kids here. Uh, he wants, well, he wants, um, he wants Wendy to tell him stories. Yeah, no, no, that's what I mean. But like, it's not like a, like that's not like a normal motivation you can really like think of about like, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, I can, I can see why, you know, it's it, it is sort of just kind of a Cult bizarre kid mentality. Yeah, I know, but yeah. <clears throat> but, um, point being, and then Tinkerbell being, you know, this vengeful, manipulative fig figure is such a it's such a it's such a bizarre it's it's a it's it's there's a it is a it is a very character driven piece in the sense that like yeah. everyone has very distinct motivations that conflict with one another and bounce off each other um yeah. in ways that you wouldn't really expect that like oh it's a kid that never grows up and his fairy partner and the pirate that wants to fight them but like they're it's almost kind of like a relationship drama in a weird way a lot of it because you know there's um tiger lily has a you know um kisses peter and then wendy gets jealous uh and runs off and then she gets kidnapped and you know it's a kind it's an odd movie when he um and i don't know there's a also it's it's got you know it's got songs it's kind of it's it's very kid friendly but it also has you know like pirate you know like swashbuckling fight scenes as well um yeah and uh and slaps and comedy yeah um, I, I think uh, the um i think the stuff with um I, I think the themes are a little 
half baked to a degree. I don't feel like they're 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 pushed to their limits. Like the whole growing up thing, I don't feel like is very well explored. Uh, like, uh, oh, Wendy, you have to grow up. Uh, I don't want to grow up. Okay, I'm ready to grow up. Yeah, that's. Mm. I mean, I, I think that's that's reasonable. Yeah. John and Michael yeah. are also here. You guys might want to. Yeah, start they just sort of do it all around. around soon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've got to say, because you know. Right. Yeah. Um. The only other thing I'll say about Peter Pan is I think the character designs are pretty <laughs> iconic. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, Wreck It Ralph is my favorite Disney movie, and it's Ooh. probably not close. I think. I think that. Wreck-It Ralph tells a great story about how we're not defined by our roles in life or by how people perceive us. We're we're more than what's on the surface, and that that goes literally for the villain. Um, yeah, it's um this is my favorite Disney movie setting. Uh, I think it is just the most visually appealing, both for games and I fucking love candy levels. I just candy, dude. Food themed locations are the greatest. Um, and there's a great amount of respect here to arcade games. Uh, there's the dude. There's a fucking scene where where um, where King Candy just does the contra code. And like, yes. I love yep. I love that. I love that so much. And he's such a fun villain. Yeah, I really like him. I'll lock oh, you yeah, in my fun gym. Fun fun dungeon. <laughs> you wouldn't hit a man with glasses, would you? You hit a man. Oh, I see. With you glasses. With glasses. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, Alan Alan T Alan Tudyk is. He's one great. of the like, most underappreciated actors of our time. Yeah, and oh, uh, he's really he's warming up your, to me. Your, your, I'll make your entrails. It's your extra. Yeah. Wait, so it was that guy? What? Yeah, that's that guy. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, this is the, uh, just just one. I want to do one Alan Tudyk line. He's in um he's in Harley Quinn and he plays the Joker. And there's just one line I love where he goes, "Listen, lots of dads are serial killers." <laughs> Where's my electric car, Bruce? Um. Ultimately, what makes this movie for me is the relationship between Ralph and Vanellope. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. Yes, definitely. Yes. Yeah. I, I think that this movie is its so great at finding each other in times where the people in their, in their worlds label them as what's, on the sur what's going on in the surface. And they go from hating each other to really feeling like real friends who bring value to each other's lives. And it's just, it's the sweetest thing in the world. This movie yeah. is very um, notable. Oh, sorry, Mick. And they, they, they made Sarah Silverman toler tolerable. It was my first Sarah Silverman yeah. thing. I, I got nothing against her. Um, I, I don't but, even know what else she's ever done ever. So, you know, um, I don't know much actors. Lewd comedy. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, the, mm. But the thing about um, the thing about the movie, the thing that I always come back to is the ending, the ending scene where Ralph is, um, where Ralph has to break open the Mentos volcano. Yes. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And as he's diving down, he repeats the speech from the first game. I'm bad, <clears throat> and that's good. I'll never yeah. be good, and that's not bad. There's nobody I'd rather be than me. And that moment sticks with me every time I see the movie so and good. has set the foundation behind what I believe are well-meaningful arcs where you come to the realization where you accept yourself for all the bad parts and, and, and move on with your reality. I have fantasies about writing characters just like that because of this movie. Very cry-worthy um, moments, honestly, as the, the first so judge good. of cry-worthy moments. That one is strong. It's, I will yeah. say, um, this movie is notable for me for having a utilization of the misunderstanding <clears throat> trope that I don't hate. Yeah, I don't like it. What do you mean by misunderstanding trope? Well, when like, he breaks Wreck the car? Ruff smashes the car and doesn't yeah. tell Vanellope why. You really are a bad guy. Yeah. And mm, it's like, obviously, yeah. you know, it Ralph works. could just tell her. But, like, I don't hate well, this. Well, he tried. That was good. He tried to tell her, and she wouldn't listen. I, I have to re. I to, actually, this is one of the movies I haven't rewatched. Yeah. I actually had enough faith in my in my 2019 viewing that I had, that I had memorized enough of it. But there are probably Same. some gaps. Yeah, in no, no, he flat out tells mm -hmm. her, and she just doesn't believe him. <clears throat> I see. It's just it's from the power of manipulation as well, which is why you can sort of understand it, and eventually it gets shorted out again. But well, if he told mm -hmm. her, it's yeah. less of a misunderstanding, I guess. So fuck me, to strike yeah. that from the record. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking King Candy's fault. Yeah, um, I know we have. It's, oh, uh, one thing I do want to say, probably one of, one, of, one of my favorite quirks about the movie, um, in the uh, in the uh, uh, Villains Anonymous meeting, um, uh, <laughs> yeah. Bowser is drinking tea. Um, and yeah. apparently, when they initially anim the, initially they had uh, animated Bowser holding the teacup, Nintendo sent them a strongly worded letter saying, no, 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 this is how Bowser would hold a teacup. <laughs> 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 that's great. I love that. Whatever you say, why, Mr. Miyamoto. 
Yeah, and so he, he if you look at it, Bowser's, you know, it's a... Bowser is very... They, they, they animate Bowser holding the teacup in a very particular way. It's kind yeah. of odd, but yeah. Only other thing I want to say is Oreo. 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 So good. So good. Yeah. All right. Um, um, we should yeah. probably vote. Are we ready to vote? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right under the 12-minute mark. First round? Two of the filmies ever. That's not bad. Yeah. No. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Our first uh, person voting will be Jordan. Okay. Um, hmm. No, it's not that hard for me. Wreck-It Ralph, uh, fuller movie, more things to like, and less racism. Mm. All right, so then next up will be uh, you, Christian. Oh, um, well, I got to say, Peter Pan, if there's one thing I could say about it more than anything, is that it has a lot of that Disney, like, whimsical moments to it. Like, think about Peter Pan's yeah. shadow, the the crocodile yeah. with yeah. the ticking clock inside of his head, everything oh, related to Jack Bell. It's, it's all incredibly whimsical, very iconic, and the last act is so good. Um, I really love Wrecking Ralph so much. Uh, I think it is, it, I, I think it did make me cry when I watched it, and it would probably make me cry again if I watched it again. So I'm going to vote for it. All right. Taylor, you're up. Um, so uh, on, re- on, a, on a rewatch of Peter Pan, I was bored for some parts, but one thing I really did have a newfound appreciation for was how great Captain Hook is. I, like, I may even like him as a villain more than King Candy, all cards on the table. The fucking last scene where he's being eaten by the crocodile, and he goes, Smee! Ah, 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 and then like, it, cuts, it cuts like a jump cut. Smee! Ah, 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 I can't do it. Um, but it's fucking, it's it's great. I love him. I'll lay it in. Um, but I think that when the movie doesn't have him, um, it's kind of just, eh. Um, <clears throat> Wreck-It Ralph is my favorite Disney movie. I want it to win the bracket. I love this movie. I could rewatch it anytime. Um, and I think the sequel's not bad either. Uh, so Wreck-It Ralph, okay. always Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> All right. Very nice. Graham? Uh, I really do enjoy... Uh, uh, like Peter Pan, like even even like the, the non Cap Hook scenes, like I love like the flying over London. I love uh, uh, like I remember like the mermaid scenes, and I I like Tinkerbell, and I I think I've always like wanted to like live in the uh, the Lost Boys treehouse. That being said, Wreck It Ralph uh, is a very finely tuned love letter to just video games, and also like. The most recent time I watched it, like a couple years ago, the the like the Mentos Mountain scene did like start make me tear up a little. So that will be getting my so vote. Good. I'm so glad so you guys good. agree with that scene. It's that mm. scene. Oh, that really? scene is one of the best. Well, I'm saying it's one of the best Disney scenes. Is a huge ask, but I'm willing to say it. It is. Yeah, it's really good. It is a really good scene. All right, and Mick. Yeah, so, uh, no, like, look, I, I love Wreck-It Ralph, and um, uh, I'm going to vote for uh, Peter Pan just because uh, it, partially it's nostalgia. Uh, I'll, you know, a big part of it is nostalgia, but that's kind of fueling all of my picks here. Um, um, also, just kind of to be different. Um, also, I really love the... Uh, I, I, li- I like the setting of Neverland. I'm, a- I'm actually really into just sort of, like, Peter Pan'd peter pan beyond the movie like i've read quite a lot of like peter pan adjacent fiction mm-hmm. um, yeah peter and the star catchers yeah uh there's also um yeah you know, let's not get it um and uh there there's one other thing i want uh just i love wreck it ralph song of the theaters it's great um there are uh um there there are sort of two things though that make me sort of a pre- like appreciate it a little bit less um these um um I'm really over. I don't know. I, I I'm really over the whole you know accepting yourself for who you are um, uh, themes in movies. I don't know. They're like mm-hmm. I, I'm really over them. Um, uh, Teach her off. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, and uh, uh, you know what? The other the other thing's a personal thing that's like super like super personal and it actually has yeah, no bearing on the movie. <laughs> uh, so I'm not even gonna get into that one. Yeah, fine. All right, All right. yeah. yeah. So that um, means Wreck-It Ralph takes it four to one. So next up, uh, two movies I actually really love. One of them I'm not even really sure why it's here. Uh, the Nightmare Before yeah. Christmas versus Moana. Both of them being Christian picks. Who would like Can to? Can I start with a disclaimer? Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Uh, and then I would like to take it the reins. Do you want me to start the timer, or do you want to just say the disclaimer and then I'll start the timer? It, it's probably. It, I mean, it's, it should be. It should be involved in the time thing. So, okay. I mean, I don't right. think it's like it's not quick enough. That'll be. Yeah. I'll okay. take the reins after you. Three, two, one, go. There is an elephant in the room that we should probably address with this bracket that we briefly addressed when we were making entries for this one. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas was released by Touchstone Pictures, which is under the Disney umbrella, but it is not the same production and animation division that, pro that produced the other 15 of these films. That fact alone makes it very difficult for me to judge this film against flagship Disney animation projects like Moana. I mean, look, this is, at the end of the day, this is a question of, is Nightmare Before Christmas better than Moana? And that is still an easy question for me to answer. But what we should be thinking about is how we categorize the rest of these films in relation to this one. Like, if so Nightmare Before I Christmas runs this entire bracket, I think it was a mistake to let it on here. It's like uh, allowing a fucking Doberman to compete in a dog show. Like, what? The Doberman's eating the other dogs? Of course it is. It's bigger and stronger than all the other dogs. It's going to win. <laughs> I think... Uh, <laughs> I think but Mick has some important world. information so. regarding that because I believe, Mick, you were the one yeah. who gave me the green light to put it on the bracket. Yeah. Yes. So uh, it was released through Touch Touchstone Pictures. But the development was actually primarily done by Walt Disney Studios. But they okay. released it through Touchstone Pictures because they thought it would be too dark and scary for their main kids' audience. And so they didn't really right. – they were, they were worried about putting, like, Disney Pictures – you know the the Walt Disney Pictures thing on it. Also, um, there's an also another uh, argument I'd like to make. If not here, where? <laughs> Fair. Well, uh, during our Touchstone I'm, bracket. Also, I'm, 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 oh, oh, oh boy, the Touchstone <laughs> Pictures bracket. Of course. Yeah, but if it, it, was, it, it was in Kingdom Hearts, it was in Kingdom Hearts, so it yeah, counts. Okay. exactly. Yeah, it's a big thing. Fair. And I will say Fair. before I go into my spiel, uh, Toy uh, Story. Hmm? Well, they did Pixar with no. uh, with Kingdom Hearts. No, 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 no. Tron is in Kingdom Hearts, okay? Who right, cares? Let's, let's talk about the movie. <laughs> so, I will say, right. I very greatly appreciate the opportunity to have The Nightmare Before Christmas on this bracket. Um, and both of these movies that are, that are in this current running, Nightmare Before Christmas and Moana, um, both of them are, are, are here for a lot of similar reasons. Um, one of the reasons, uh, you know, I, is uh, I think the primary thing, the, the primary rope that ties these two movies to me is their music. Um, yes. I think, um, yes, yes, yes. I think Moana's soundtrack is fucking incredible. It's Lin-Manuel it Miranda. Like him or not, he makes good music. Can't really sing well. it that well, but he makes I was, good I was music. Gonna, I was going to say, as long as he's not singing it, I agree. <laughs> exactly. Um, and the songs in sing? Moana are just fantastic uh obviously you have uh, uh jordan just sent a gif in the chat of shiny and of course shiny is yes i don't like shiny you I love are it. wrong it's a bug song I, in fact i'll go as far as to say i only like your welcome your welcome is That's tied insane. for shiny for me as as my favorite song in I, in the movie and I'll, I'll do you one further christian i think the scene with the crab is annoying and i don't like it i never heard so many wrong things <laughs> come out of your mouth at once are you okay is everything is everything okay? <laughs> I, I I I don't like the character. I I, I it actually represents. I, I think it's too long of a scene, which makes like this movie, Moana. Not a lot happens in this in this journey. Ooh. Like 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 let, let, let's 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 talk about the journey Moana and Maui take. They they meet each other on the island, and Maui's like, okay, gotta get my staff real quick. They get the staff, and then they learn how to use the staff, <clears throat> and then they're there. Like, there's this whole open sea. There's all these islands they could go to. And it's just like, we're going to go to two quick places. And then the movie's over. Okay, Taylor, I would just like to make an observation. Uh, they are not in the Caribbean. They are in the Pacific. There are maybe... I didn't uh, say the Caribbean. Thou no, 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 I know that. What My, my point being here is that it is... There is om it's almost all ocean. There are almost no islands in the Pacific. Uh, uh, but that's my point. There's so much fucking ocean, and I just feel like there's this great sense of exploration that the movie wants you to believe, and that we yeah. don't really explore. Well, they're I not going to explore the, oh boy, 900 minutes of the ocean. Wow. <laughs> but I think my thing is they, <laughs> don't go, they don't go to a lot of places, but every place they go to is very substantial. And, you know, I, I think yeah. that, that is not shown any further than with the Tamatoa scene. Where I actually like, at, when I first saw Tomato's design, I was like, "This dope fucker, stupid." And then I watched the scene and the song, and I was like, "Wow, actually a great Disney villain." Even though he only plays for like 15 minutes. 
Um, it's and, Jermaine Clement. He's great. Exactly. And Your Welcome is, of course, incredible. It's the bird um, from Rio. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson didn't sing I that. I see. Dwayne Johnson did sing that, yes. Oh, he did oh, sing yes, that. Okay. Yeah. He's, he's got some pipes. And there's also mm-hmm. a song that plays about uh, Moana and her ancestors. Um, I don't remember the name of the song, but Lin-Manuel Miranda actually sings in it. So, I mean, look, I think this is one of the songs he sings pretty well. <laughs> So, yeah. yeah. Um, if I can I, prove that I didn't touch my Can I say what the actual <laughs> best part of this well, movie is? Well, your promise doesn't tell another soul what you saw. <laughs> can, I, can I say what the best part of this movie is? And I think Mick will appreciate this. Mm-hmm. Is it um, considered a coconut? Every, every, every Disney movie, like, they have to have an <clears throat> animal companion. And they're, like, anthropomorphized, like, personality uh, apparent uh, animal companions. And this movie is, like, here's just a fucking chicken. Yeah, like there's no—he has no personality. He's just a chicken. Yeah, it's it's another, he... and it's it's another brilliant Alan, Alan Tudyk role. <laughs> I went to Juilliard. Yeah. <laughs> um, to hop I went off, to Juilliard. <laughs> to hop back onto the rails really quickly. Um, I talked yes. about a bunch of songs that I loved in Moana. I also said, yeah, the songs in Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, there is only one song in the Nightmare Before Christmas that I think is only just good. Everything else is a masterpiece. Incredible. Can I can I take can I take a guess as to what the only sort of good one is? Sure. Oh, hang on. I was about to say something, and then I'm like, N- I you know what? I maybe I don't want to say that. Connect the Sandy Claus. That's what I was I gonna love. Say. Connect the Sandy Claus. Right. That song is so good. Connect the Sandy Claus. The Oogie what? Boogie song. What's this? Uh, the Town Hall song. I even love the fucking yes. song where Jack's in his house talking about how he's gonna kidnap Christmas, and like everyone hates that song, and yeah. I fucking love that song. So what but- is the song you do like? So what is the song you don't like? The song I don't like is the one where after Jack gets shot down from his sleigh, um. And is sort of like <laughs> lamenting on the statue. Uh, yeah, that, I like that, that one. That song kind of sucks. Yeah. Oh, but, I don't even have, I don't even remember that one. Okay, yeah. fair enough. It's but, like yeah. it's, it's it's the climax of the movie where like he gets out of the sky and he's completely. No, no, no. I the... remember the scene. I just can't remember the song. You might notice right, okay. I left out two very important songs because they are two of my favorite songs in anything. I was, I was going to say if like you said that like. Oh, sorry, did like is this is Halloween? There would have been like fires across the nation. Because yeah, obviously, it's there's yeah. this is Halloween in my top <laughs> so ten good. favorite songs of all time from anything, and I think it's the best opening to any Disney movie ever. And there's also Jack's yes, lament, yes. where he walks yes. on the swirly hill, and I oh, have so dreamed of performing that song on a stage in front of people. I know the whole thing several times over. Every voice inflection, every facial expression, <clears> I fucking adore it. Both movies have amazing songs. Both movies yes. also look really, really good. Moana has Agreed. the benefit of its setting with this sort of like tropical, uh, if you're in a lot of like, you know, these sort of exotic locations, like again, I hate to bring it up a million times, Tamatoa's Lair, um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, and uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas is the kind of movie where, um, where it looks amazing when it was made. And I think a hundred years from now, the Nightmare Before Christmas will still look amazing. Uh, I don't know. It's it looks good now, and I gave it. I get. I'll give it more credit. When I saw it from a distance, I'm like, yeah, this looks kind of bad. And then I actually watched it. I'm like, nah, it flows oh. better than I gave it credit for. It's um, just, it's some of the best motion. stop motion that exists, honestly. Like honestly, God. <laughs> By the way, I think it's really funny that the guy who plays Jack versus Danny Elfman, who is singing Jack, they sound nothing alike. So you have all these moments where Jack is like, oh, hello, everybody. And then I just want, there's an empty place in my phone. Hello. (laughs) They got the the Oingo Boingo guy playing Skeleton Man? (laughs) Yeah. Danny Elfman, yeah. I know, yeah. But uh, Um, of course, Prince Humperdick is his speaking voice so. <laughs> but uh that, that, but I, I will be honest with you guys i have one movie that i greatly prefer here over another movie um and Same. i guess we'll talk more about that in the vote perhaps yep yeah, i actually have a right. lot to say but i feel like i'll have to do it during the vote should mm-hmm. we get to the vote now i think so all righty so we'll start off with jordan moana is my little cousin who just turned four or I believe that is when she was growing up, she's in a Mulan phase now, but for a while Moana was her favorite movie and I would watch it with her and it breaks my heart that I'm voting for Nightmare Before Christmas because it's incredible and it's unparalleled, but Moana has a big place in my heart. I also saw it on a date with my ex-girlfriend, uh, Katie, you know, who we all know, but yeah, no, 
No, Moana's great. The Nightmare Before Christmas is before she better. left you for an anime character. All right. Before she left me for uh, the JoJo guys. Yeah. Cut this part out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'll keep it. It's okay. I got a thick skin. <laughs> Yeah, Jordan's someone editing it. If he wants to leave it in, he'll leave it in. He's going to tell him what to do. Yeah, we don't have to ask yeah. him. Yeah. Jordan All is right. God here. Next up yes, is I am. Christian. In one of my more recent rewatches of Nightmare Before Christmas, and honest to God, I forget if this one was with Clanky or not. <clears throat> um, there was a rewatch we did of Nightmare Before Christmas, and there was this fucking scene where uh, Sally <laughs> oh, is talking no. to Jack Skellington. <laughs> About not, you know, don't go out there and be Santa. And Jack, no, Jack's like, no, I gotta go be Santa. And Sally picks up a picture of Jack Skellington, like how he used to look. And Sally was like, but you're the Pumpkin King. And Jack takes the picture and goes, not anymore, and smashes the photo over his knees <laughs> with a giant smile on his face. Is what makes it Mick so has good. just posted the uh, adjacent meme that he made about it. And the Nightmare Before Christmas is, uh, I love, I love Moana so much. But uh, Moana is a fantastic, wonderful, wondrous, magical movie. The Nightmare Before Christmas is one of my favorite movies of all time. So I'm voting for The Nightmare Before Christmas. And if it wins the bracket, I will feel a little bad. Um, but, uh, I again, I'm just happy that it gets to participate. All right. Taylor, you're up. Nightmare Before Christmas is flat out unfinished. It has so many iconic characters... Jack is great, the mayor is great, Sally, Lock, Shock, and Barrel. It's great. Oogie Boogie, the villain, is maybe in four collective minutes of this movie. <laughs> He's oh, coming right. He's, he, he is right. He Jack is right. And, Jack and Sally talk three times in this movie. I wasn't even convinced they knew each other, and somehow this is a love story. Why do Lock, Shock, and Barrel help save Jack at the end? They're the bad guys! <laughs> Who decided they would ever do that? He's so right! He's, he's so right! And then Jack gets shot out of the sky, completely unaware he ruined Christmas, but then sings a heart song about what he's done and somehow self-reflects. Like, where did this come from? This movie is not finished. I'm voting for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see that's what i like to see yes <laughs> the movie's unfinished it's a great setting and the, the oogie song is great and this is halloween is great and i think it's just a little more memorable than moana but holy I, shit this movie is unfinished the thing is if this movie was finished i don't think humanity would be able to handle it like honestly i've never been i've never been so offended by something i 100 percent agree yeah, with. <laughs> never before have i been so offended by something i 100 percent agree with i'm two for Thank two you, today James. i'm feeling positive it's yeah dude oh man i do love this movie though but graham <sighs> out next Man, I, I, I actually, I do have like, I actually, uh, the, the only other movie I haven't seen on this list is Moana. It's just like one of those, like, I just okay. haven't gone around to it. Like, I just like remember, I, I, I know what happens. I've, I've seen, I've listened to it a bunch. Um, but man, Nightmare for Christmas, like, it's just like so good. Like, I don't know if you guys, these are like a fun little movie tidbit. I don't know if you guys realize Oogie Boogie's only in the movie for like four minutes. I didn't realize that. No, until you no, brought it up, Graham. What a brilliant way to like really like sh like show the antagonist, but also like can I just say quality over quantity? Um, like in the in, like I think it says something that like we can like still remember Oogie Boogie so much. Dude, he has more character development in the Kingdom Hearts world. <laughs> Oh my. He's still I mean, better than like can I just say, you can actually villains. say that for a lot of characters. Yeah. No, uh, no, yeah. The Kingdom Hearts version of Nightmare Before Christmas is a better movie than Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh man, that's rough. Um no, but like <clears throat> You even get to play on Oogie's roulette. I never I I had I never be that boss. I hated it. Um, oh yeah, it's a bad boss. Um but it's no Demix. No. Gonna, yeah, it didn't, it didn't make me restart the game. Um, no, but yeah, like Nightmare Before Christmas. I yeah. I want to give it to it just on purpose of I feel like it's one of the extremely few just explicitly just Halloween songs. 
Mm-hmm. But again, it's like, what other Halloween song can you make after this is Halloween? Like, it's kind of like, all right, we've reached the pinnacle. Yeah, Where do we go from here? What are the songs you make? Just stop making music. This is the pinnacle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, inter- I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, Jordan, you posted the This Movie Is Not Finished, I'm voting for it in the quotes tab. And I just see at the top, and I, I just look back through the quotes, and some of these I don't even remember. Like, <laughs> all my oh my god, I'm turning into Wendigo. I have no memory of this. Anyway, it's, it's sorry. It's in 2020s. That's in the um, that's the it, one. It, it, that might have been where, something like where you you might be your, your, your internet, your Wi-Fi. And, yeah, and like I made you like. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, okay. Yeah, got okay. It. okay. <laughs> I wasn't there. Cool. Anyway, Graham, wait, are you voting for Nightmare Before Christmas? Yeah, I am. Okay. All right. Okay. And then Mick. I met Jordan watching Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes! Yes! That's a vote for Moana. Oh, you're voting <laughs> against it. <laughs> I bet Jordan watching that movie for Christmas. I voted Moana. <laughs> no, I'm joking. First time I ever saw that movie, too, was when I was there with you. So. All right. And that leaves the vote at what? 5-0? Yeah, 5-0. 5-0? 5-0? All right. Did you just do the falling down the stairs noise again? I was trying to do the drum fill from no Hawaii stuff. Five-O. <laughs> I was trying to do the Hawaii Five-O drum fill, but instead I did the <laughs> fall down the stairs <laughs> sound. Next up, we have uh, a really, really big heavy hitter uh, versus the mm. Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think yes. there's anything wrong with that sentence. You guys are all telling a silly joke. You know, you know what's crazy, Taylor, is that I actually kind of agree with you. Um, we're gonna get this started. Who would like to get a? Who would like to start? Can I go? Sure. Yeah. Starting in three, two, one. So, this is an incredibly difficult choice for me because I love both of these movies. <clears throat> there are a lot of things going for both of these, and I'm not really sure what you'd pick. Like The Lion King is just a, like it's a great movie. Also, I'm a huge Shakespeare fan. So yeah. I like I like mm-hmm. Hamlet with animals, of course I do. Fuck yeah, um, it's Hamlet with lions. And you know I like I this was this is like other than Rescuers Down Under, <clears throat> this is the this is the Disney Renaissance movie I watched when I was a kid. I watched the whole thing. Yes. I can sing every song by heart. But um, they yes. such as Fred. What? What? <laughs> it does. Okay. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> um. But then again, you know. I saw Big Hero. You know, I also I really like Big Hero Six. Um, it's yeah. it's it's uh, you know I saw the movie in the theaters. It is a great adaptation of a subpar comic book series. Yeah. Um, um, the person who I watched Big Hero Six with <laughs> cried in the theater. It's actually oh, kind of funny. Uh, simultaneously, the first time I watched Big Hero Six too. Simultaneously, actually, funnily enough, also the same exact person who I was with when uh, I met Jordan, who who invited us over to her uh, dorm to watch Nightmare Before Christmas, which is where I met Jordan. Anyway, yeah, and then right uh, after, you, right after we saw that, we talked to you. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what the hell was I saying? Oh yeah, that's right, Big Hero Six. This is tough um, for you. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a little pretty, pretty tough for me, and I'm not really sure. All yeah, right, practice, um, you know? can, can I can I can I talk about Big Hero Six a little then? Sure. Yeah, and then I'll do live. Right. So, um, if Record Ralph has my favorite setting, Big Hero 6 might have my second favorite. I think San Francisco is an amazing idea. It is. That, that it captures the idea of localization of fucking California, <laughs> Japan. It's, it's the best. Um, I think Hero is a great character who makes a very strong first impression with subverting, with subverting your expectations. Like, the first, the first thing is do, I'm going to just swindle people. Um, yeah. and Baymax is also the best. The That's fucking guy from care. 30 Rock got to be a character. Mm-hmm. And he is adorable, and we all love and want to protect him. And, I am um, not fast. <laughs> I am not. Um, la la la. Fist bump. Oh. Uh, counterpoint. Um, uh, baby. Big Hero 6 has a fucking awful villain. <laughs> like, just yeah, straight up terrible. Yeah. I don't uh, like I the villain disagree. twist, but I he is fully... lukewarm. Mm-hmm. I, if, yeah. you're, if you're talking, like, motivation, what, like, I maybe that, but, like, design-wise, I so, fucking Okay, love the before he takes off his mask, he is incredible. But, like, once you take off the mask, <laughs> it's, oh, it's Gallagher, oh, it's like, no, fuck this. That was his mistake. That was his mistake! 
<laughs> there's, this, there's this great. Um, I don't watch a lot of this this guy, but there's a guy named Shay Frillis Productions, mm-hmm. um, and he he does this gun. one bit where he takes out the miss, so he just goes, "That was his steak." <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's like, and look, I I knew about that scene before I went in for another rewatch. And I got <clears> some <throat> other things that I didn't really like that much about Big Hero Six. I don't like the T.J. Miller character at all. Um, I, I think he's I think fucking he annoying. Um, and I think yeah. there are a lot of parts of this movie that kind of follow. Uh, kind of washed out predictable story beats and yeah i I agree with you (laughs) but i have to say even though i went into my big hero 6 rewatch expecting to dislike this movie i actually still love it i think the action sequences are great um also you're gonna talk about old you know washed out you know uh uh the story beats lion king's based on hamlet (laughs) Yeah, <laughs> it's I, I a five hundred year old plot. Everything's based off everything, I guess. Yes, well, at the same time, Big Hero Six is. I mean, we were, we are going to talk about some things with like little cultural appropriation things, but Big Hero Six appropriates the culture of Marvel movie. So, <laughs> you know, it's one to talk. No, I hate Big Hero well, Six villain a lot. He's still better than eighty percent of Marvel villains. Th- this movie, listen, this movie pretends it's a superhero movie. I don't really think it's a superhero movie, and maybe that's a detriment. Like, I think it wants to be a superhero movie, but in that sense, I think it's a way more personal story than that. And I don't think Whoa. it's like that's the thing. Like the supporting cast, I think they're a lot. They're very quirky and fun. Maybe they're not necessary, but I wouldn't want them out of the movie. Um, I, I think ultimately Hero and Baymax sell the movie and everything they do uh, over the course of the movie I think is incredibly heartwarming and fun. And I just think this movie is really funny. Yeah. Gummy bears! I think it is a superhero movie because, like, you know, there's a giant sky portal climax. Of, of course it's a superhero movie. Mm-hmm. Um, all I right. mean, it's, it's based on a comic book series and it vastly improves on it. The original is really weird. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a Stan Lee cameo. So... Yeah. That's- I mean, who knows? Maybe The Lion King is a superhero. No, okay, no, 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 no. Just because they're okay, just because there's a Stan Lee care cameo doesn't make it a superhero movie. Because then Princess, Princess Diaries Dark Two too. is a <laughs> is a is yeah, a superhero yeah. movie. Because yeah. Stanley makes a cameo in that for some reason. And Mall Rat. Right, to, to, to the Lion King. Yeah. Okay. Um, I also King. think Lion King is a good movie. I wanted to come in here and be a little saltier uh, because I didn't grow up with it like everyone else, and everyone holds this movie up like it's the golden god of movies. I'm, I don't. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> sort of. I, I mean. Look, I like it. I, I think it's fun. I think the songs are incredibly yeah. classic. Um, I think uh, I think a lot of the characters are good. Um, maybe there are a couple too many. Maybe maybe like like, hmm. do, like maybe not enough Rafiki, and maybe do we really need Zazu? Like we have yes, some. We, yeah. we, we need do both. Need of we do. Zazu's there is great. okay. There is actually one criticism I do have of the movie, um, and this is so. Um, maybe more Nala. I don't know. Well, yeah, more Nala we needed, yes, but... Yeah, th- yeah, to be fair, there was a whole other Nala scene. They cut it, though. Um, Fuckers. Okay, no, no, no. In, co- in context, the scene was that um, uh, Scar wanted uh, Nala to be his queen. Um, they cut yeah. that. Um, <laughs> that would have been nice, because c- c- here's, here's the only other thing um, that I have as a detriment. I think <sighs> Scar, as a character, is really fun. Way better than I remember. He's got, he's got a great... Watch, watch your words carefully. All right. I think... I think He's Jordan so wanted good. to say something about it, uh, I, about the movie. Seeing as I put it up, I think maybe yeah. I should say some mm-hmm. things about it. Um, I'll save it. Yeah, so The Lion King, let's be honest, it's the centerpiece of the Disney Renaissance. You can argue that Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Little Mermaid were all this. I argue they were just a ramp up to The Lion King. Financially, it's the peak, obviously. I mean, it's creatively as well, because, I mean, you say out loud Hamlet, but with lions, and it's going to sound real stupid, but having enough people that could craft this into not just a moving, important story uh, is... As, as, as well as one that does justice to African cultures who told folk tales such as the one this is based off of, the Sundiata epic. That's something completely different entirely. I think you can make the argument Lion King is the most accessible and good songs from any Disney movie. I mean, Circle of Life, Can You Feel the Love Tonight, Hakuna Matata, Just Can't Wait to Be King, Fucking Be Prepared! And to quote Jason Telsey, That's the whole team! <laughs> Go birds. Um, the one criticism I do have with Lion King, and this is a big one, Matthew Broderick was the wrong pick for adult Simba. I mean, come on. Dude did not get what this movie was. He tries. He really does. I don't blame him, but he is mixed cast. Look at some of his reads on this. He calls Timon and Pumbaa. Casting a white guy as an African king can be seen as appropriate cultural appropriation, and that's not the diciest problem we have in this bracket, but it's 
can I say it's a little I, actually, I, I I don't think I I think Matt I think Matthew Broderick being um I think Matthew Broderick being a, uh, adult Simba I don't think I don't think him being white was the problem I think he I think the problem was him being Matthew Broderick yeah I think that's where yeah, the majority I just of the problem yeah. Yeah. I am about. mind blowingly neutral to Matthew Broderick as Simba good oh no no, no. I, I I you know I I like I like it um I, personally I think that the um I think that the Broadway musical version of Lion King is a significant improvement on the movie uh, i agree yeah, with you it's, actually it's just julie taymore right. she's talented yeah it is just yeah. all around uh it is just all around just better in every way um i did see that one all the way through uh and i hadn't seen this one all the way through until a few days ago so uh something i do want to say and the, like this is one of my one of my single like minor criticisms of the movie is that it, it there is a scene in it that i don't that i don't like and it i i've seen this in other things where there is a scene that they act like, oh, this was a running bit, but there was no actual bit in the lead up to this, and that was um, so. There's a scene where that Pumbaa gets called a pig, and he goes, yes. "I'm called Mister Pig," and then gets like really angry, and like they act like this yeah. was the thing they built up, and that this was like this, yeah. this was <laughs> like the this was like the 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 the, 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 the turning point in a story arc of some sort. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was his Higashita Josuke moment. Yeah, no, what did you say a, about me? <laughs> there was, there was a thing Don't that someone me told me. There's something that reminded me about, but there's like a bit in the, um, I forget if it was in the movie or one of the games, but uh, for like Ratchet and Clank, and there's a, a thing where hmm. uh, I think choose like, your think, words carefully. Yeah, no, uh, Clank has like the line, you know, what what are you doing? Improvising, and like they say that as if that was, you know, some running gag, sort of like not running gag, but like you know, a turning sort of character moment where they're quoting something early in the movie, but it just isn't. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, I anyway. kind of like how it's nonsensical out of context, honestly. Well, oh, I, what, Mr. Pigs? Yeah, Mr. Like, Pig. I kind of yeah. like, like, I, I think more movies should do that. Just have pretend that there are, like, running gags, but the all viewers have never seen the lead-up to the gags. <laughs> I don't want that, and you don't it's want that. No, I want that in the heat of the night. <laughs> um, I like Timon. I don't like Pumbaa that much. I like them both. They're great. Pumbaa farts a lot. And, you know... I like the I like Lion King one and a half. I'll I'll save the rest of my thoughts for the vote. Are we ready yeah. to vote? Ah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, that's basically yeah. everything. It's a beautiful movie. I love it so, but man, this is a pretty tough matchup. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna start with Jordan. It's a pretty tough matchup, but not for me because I'm voting for the Lion King. With much respect to uh, Big Hero Six, I grew up with the Lion King, and therefore I got to vote for it. <laughs> All right. Christian, so I think at one point in my life, Big Hero Six was in like my top twenty movies, and uh, even though it is absolutely nowhere near that point nowadays, I am I am very happy that I was able to enjoy this movie again, despite everything I've heard from everyone else who critiques the movie so harshly. Um, and uh, you know, I, I love Big Hero Six. I f- the no look. It, eh. One thing I want to do with uh, with movies that, that have musical music numbers here is I want to say what my favorite music number is, um, at least at some point. And The Lion King, I was very surprised to find out that my favorite song in the movie is I Can't Wait to Be King. I mean, that's uh, correct. Yeah, well, it, that's a good song. I really love that song. I yeah. love when the ensemble kicks in. That's not a controversial pick. It's not Be Prepared. It, yeah, well, you know. be, be yeah. Pre- if you asked me be five years ago, I would have said Be Prepared. But I don't even I, remember I, which one Be Prepared is. is. Yeah, be be Prepared. prepared. Oh, essential. Yeah. oh, I hated that one. Wow, you're just, Damn. wow. That I, was my I, least favorite song. I, can you that, kick what? someone Yo, out of wow. the earliest for wrong opinions? This is Strike 3. This is Strike 3. Um, no, I, I think the Lion King is an astronomical human achievement. I'm going to be voting for it. All right. Next up is Taylor. All I was going to say about Scar is I think he is incredibly fun, but once he becomes king, I feel like we don't get to see the effects of how bad a king he is, other than a couple of lines from Nala about how everyone's hungry. I mean, and the you, is, they you cut literally, it. you literally see like the land is like dark and destitute. My, here's the thing. Like here's the thing. No, no, no. My dad, my, I bring my dad the dad card. I'm playing the dad card. <laughs> what he right. teaches his, like, he's activated his, my dad. What he teaches his uh, course on mythology and, and science fiction, and we go over like myths and stuff. He uses the Lion the King. King. Yes, the Fisher King. Like, like yeah. sort of by the Fisher King. Like how th- when the when the kingdom has like, like 
a bad ruler is reflected in the land in that when we whenever we see the uh uh pride rock at when scar is in uh scar is in command it's like dark desolated like there's literally a shot when simba is like walking up of like i think like rain or something like washing away a skull like the literally mm-hmm. symbolical like simba is washing away like the evil uh that scar like, like represented like and how everyone is going hungry mm-hmm. because he he has no uh he has no uh, like respect for the circle of life. He just lets uh, like whatever the hyenas or like whatever like just eat eat their fi- eat their fill uh, versus like Bufasa's like whole thing. All right, maybe it's more poignant than I give it credit for. In in the context of, of what I see in front of me outside of symbolism, uh, I don't think it's as apparent to me. It may just not be my thing. I also just think him revealing that he killed Mufasa right at the end is is dumb. But I understand why he did it. Um, all that being said, I think it's a good movie, um, and maybe it's more, um, maybe it's more objectively good. Uh, but Big Hero Six is just fun, and I love it. Yeah, and I'm voting for it. Yeah. All right, Graham. Um, we, we we've always established that we could just like talk about spoilers because who cares? Yeah, it's spoiling mm-hmm. everything. Okay. Yeah, like I I don't like Baymax is sacrifice will always like make me cry and that's kind of like why i'm voting for the uh it over big hero uh, uh i'm voting for it over the lion king so i was gonna say you're voting for big hero six over <laughs> big hero six that's pretty impressive yeah dude when wow. baymax dies in the lion king it's yeah. fucking... <laughs> guys i haven't seen big heroes one through five so i don't really know what <laughs> to talk about. damn have you seen big hero one and a half with timon and pumbaa <laughs> yeah can't wait for uh is it 2-2? Two, two? I, I can't think of a good joke. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. All right, Mick, go for it. Yep, Mick, you're up. Uh, I am voting for the Lion King. Hell yeah. Because as much as I as as much as I uh, as much as I as much as I love Big Hero, Big Hero 6, Lion King has nostalgia, um, artistic merit and just I, also it might also be just part of the, the Broadway musical on me again. But, you know, it's um, I just I, I I love the Lion King. Also, this is something that I don't think gets a lot of credit for the Lion King is that the animals aren't anthropomorphic. It's actually kind of odd when you think like when you actually notice it that like they're just animals. They it's not like mm-hmm. like they occasionally do like you know they like it's not like they're you know they're not like furries. They're like actual animals. They're... Scar looks a little like Jeremy Irons though. They made sure. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't mean in terms of like I I mean in terms of the <laughs> fact that it's it's not like they're you know, a person with a lion yeah. head and fur. It's mm, like, right. you know, they, they fight like lions. lions. They walk like lions, yeah. you know. Mm, like, okay. the, the one exception is Timon, but then again, I mean, uh, you know, meerkats walk on, can sort of stand on two legs. Yeah. Like, whatever. Um, Imagine uh, any of the characters in The Lion King standing on their back legs, like, upright. <laughs> <laughs> also, I read, also, I had a like D&D, a also, I played a D&D character based on Rafiki once. Um, oh, wow. He was a bugbear named Mwembi. Um <laughs> Wow. Yeah, Mick would play Rafiki. He would. All right. So, uh, Lion King wins three to two, and we move on to the next bracket, which is uh, Aladdin, which is a Christian pick, versus Fantasia, which is a Mick pick. Who would like to start? I would like to start. Okay. All right. Starting in three, two, one. I would like to state for the record, while this is one of my picks, it is not only my pick. Um, there are a few other people here who had it on their list as well yeah. before we did comments. Yeah, I got a couple things. Yeah. You know. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep my up. thoughts on yeah. Aladdin brief. I think Aladdin just sounds great, looks great. Robin Williams as the genie makes me cry. Mm-hmm. I, lo- I love his performance so much. Uh, my favorite song in Aladdin is Friend Like Me. But Prince Ali yes. is so, so close behind. Jafar is like he doesn't have he doesn't even have that much going on, but I just love him, you know. I just love that guy. And Iago is the actual best villain in, in Aladdin. Um, and they got Steve from Full House. I was gonna make. I was gonna say it. Gonna make, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry for stealing so your thunder excited. like that. I had like been. I had like all day, all day. I was like, guys, Steve. <laughs> I'm, I'm so I am like, so sorry. Oh no, it's fine. Honestly, I'm it it, it makes my job easier. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. I forgot I'm Mick good. knows full house. Um so Genie is the best character in Disney. Um just uh-huh. just, just 
just flat out. Like there's, there's, mm-hmm. I, I will take no arguments. Um, he <laughs> is the best from the very first scene. He comes in and just starts rotating his head to get the crick out of his neck. And then oh, breaks no. into a friend like me. You got Jordan. You mentioned the Lion King has has one of the best soundtracks, and I agree, it's got a good soundtrack. Aladdin, Aladdin's I think, good. might be the best soundtrack in 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 two D Disney animation. Yeah. Um, I love One Jump Ahead. Um, that song one. has really like every time I hear it. Like I, I was listening <clears> to it last night. Um, I think that might be my new favorite, honestly, because I love Friend Like Me. The thing about Friend Like Me is I think it's a great song, but I think Robin Williams doesn't sing it; he speaks it. I think there's some benefits to the idea sort of like, you know, added addition. That's what sort of like vagues the line between acting and singing. I will say yeah, One no, Jump. It's, not, I'm not really, it's not a complaint. It, it, it yeah. fits. It's a song made for him. One yeah, Jump like, is also really, really good. So, yeah. like, um, And you, Christian, you said Prince Ali. Yeah, Prince I Ali warms up to me more every time Prince I hear Ali it. Prince Ali so but much. What I actually, what I, my favorite Prince Ali is the repre when Jafar takes over power and yes! he's lording like and he's lording over <laughs> Aladdin and Jasmine and, and and playing all his cards. That yes. to me, that's when Jafar goes from a fun, charismatic kind of humorless villain to like mad with power. And like you know how I was talking yeah. about. Sometimes I don't feel like I always see scars rise to power. Jafar, even though it's not like a long portion of the movie, seeing him go from like just a wise <clears throat> vizier who's about to get beheaded to fucking supreme overlord wizard who turns into a snake and like like he's just so like he's does so many evil things so fast mm-hmm. and i and, and and i love it like seeing him become the genie right at the end like seeing how he went from this small yeah. man to this huge overpowering cosmic deity and his defeat it's is amazing. great yeah. i think not so fast jafar is a corny line but his defeat is great yeah. also i have um, to point out the fact that I, I don't think any of us have mentioned the elephant in the room uh that being uh None of us have talked about Whole New World yet. Yeah, it's a great song. It's good. It might be one of the most iconic Disney songs ever made. Um, In in an unreleased episode of Cactus Arcade, Graham and I played Octodad, and we get to the we get to the part where you're trying to climb up a children's play uh, play set, and we keep falling off. And every time we do, we just go to the kid and go, "I can show you the world." Now I'm realizing can I probably I, subconsciously thought of that moment. I put that description. Yes, Jordan, sorry, go. Can I really quickly, and, and I, we, I know we have to move on to um, the other one in a second, but Aladdin is a rare movie I did not have to rewatch for this bracket because, again, most of these I hadn't seen in about six years that I had to rewatch for this. Not Aladdin, and here is why. First of all, out of all my Disney VHSs, this is the one I watched the most as a kid. Yep. I know the plot backwards and forwards. The odd lines i have committed to memory are insane okay girls watch the feathers when it comes to exotic type mammals in addition to that i was in my middle school i'm losing to a rug i was in my middle school's production of aladdin i played the carpet it was the role i was born to play (laughs) (laughs) backwards and forwards i know the song is they did that didn't make the movie they added the stage show i know why me which was cut from the movie because producers couldn't think of couldn't decide on a a song three drafts of a Jafar song they like. This movie is incredible. I've, I know it backwards and forwards. We should probably talk about Fantasia, which is a different type of incredible because it's uh, a fucking can, art yeah, film. Can I can I talk about can I talk about Fantasia? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but first, before we do, I want to say something, Jordan. It's pretty funny you mentioned that. Kyle was uh, Kyle, who occasionally pops in here. He yeah. was also in. Uh, he was also in Aladdin, uh, uh, the stage show. Uh, he played Abu. Oh, oh okay. my god! <laughs> pretty demanding yeah, costume. That's Got incredible. It. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so, Fantasia. Fantasia, I used to watch as a kid. I know, it's kind of weird when you think about it, (laughs) but, and I think actually, I think I mentioned that to someone once, and they were like, yeah, that explains a lot. (laughs) Um, so, so yeah, I watched Fantasia a bunch. Movies that have, you you liked movies where nothing happens. (laughs) Okay, plenty of stuff. So the thing with Fantasia is that, like, fan- so, for those unfamiliar, Fantasia is not, like, properly speaking, a movie, um, movie. per se, in the sense that it, like, It's a has... short film festival. Yeah, so it's a series of short films which are um, devoid of sound effects and, inst- and, and, and voice or anything. It is simply um, cartoons um, set Sometimes. to... What? Sometimes. What do, you, what do you mean, sometimes? Well, not everything. Sometimes they don't do a cartoon. 
What you, what? They're all cartoons, that's for sure. Yeah. What are you, what Taylor, are you talking about? time is not of the essence here. I thought you were going to say on. they weren't all synced up to the music, which would be true. But, go like, on. Yeah, yeah, go on, Mick. Anyway, what I'm going to say, yes, is the fact that they are all um, a bunch of uh, uh, cartoons synced to various pieces of iconic classical music. Um, uh, there's um, Toccata and Fugo in D minor by Bach. Mm -hmm. Um, the Nutcracker Suite by Tchaikovsky, um, uh, The Sorcerer's Apprentice by Paul Dukas, um, which, I mean, it's one of the most iconic things. Of, it's a Mickey Mouse cartoon, um, where, yeah, he, where it's an adaptation of Goethe, uh, Goethe's The Sorcerer's Apprentice, um, uh, Rite of Spring by Igor Stravinsky, um, yes. to a background of dinosaurs, um, mm -hmm. I love that uh, one. better than Disney's actual dinosaur movie. <laughs> it is. Um, uh, Pastoral Symphony by Beethoven, uh, where it depicts this sort of um, this pastoral <laughs> centaur fawn classical mythology scene. Um, uh, what's it called? Um, <laughs> Dance of the Hours uh, by Poncielli. Well, I, like I think that that's one. how you pronounce his name. I've only ever seen his name in writing. I actually have no idea how it's pronounced. I anyway, think... it's like the most sort of comedic one, um, where it's um, got like. Um, it's got it's like animals. Yeah, it stands it's like ostriches, hippos, uh elephants, yeah. and then like in a bunch of evil gators. Um I really like that one. I like that one yeah. a lot. Uh and then uh and then the the best part of the movie, in my personal opinion. Indeed. Is a two for one combination of of Night on Bald Mountain by uh uh Masorsky. Masorsky. Uh, Clink Clinky, if I mispronounce any of these names feel free to correct me yeah no um, i'm pretty sure it's mazursky but yeah okay it's mazursky. and then yeah. uh, mazursky, and better. then schubert's ave maria um yeah. depicted at depicting the walperg the walpurgis nacht on top of bald mountain giving way to um the ring of the An angelus bell uh and a chorus of ave maria in which a group of robed monks um uh uh march into uh, uh a cathedral and banish no the evil on uh, Bald Mountain. Listen, it is such an... Um, it, it's... I, I'm an atheist, and I amazing. love that short, too. It's amazing, yeah. It's, it's really good. It, it's such a it's such a beautiful combination of, like, the like the two, the two into a single story without any lyrics, and just the, the imagery of both. Like, Night on Bald Mountain is genuinely creepy. It's mm -hmm. genuinely mm -hmm. creepy in some of the designs for some of the creatures. Also, it's got nudity in it, but that's besides the point. Hell yeah, um, nudity! There yeah, there's a brief scene where you can see the exposed um, um, decolletage <laughs> of uh, a harpy. Um, they also uh, have centaurs with no nipples, but... Eh. Yeah, but Which is... The rules a little bit. Um... um. I have thoughts on Fantasia myself, but I'm going to save those for the vote. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Should we um, get to the vote now? Yeah, sure, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, this is the last time we'll do this order, starting again yes. with Jordan. Uh, Taylor came to me once the matchups were announced, uh, very worried that yeah, Fantasia... Only well, it's a couple times, Taylor has come to me very worried that Fantasia is going to mop the floor with Aladdin. And I told him many times that, at least in the... In, this round is not going to happen. Um, I I strive to make sure that I am not. I'm a man of my word. I am voting for Aladdin. All right. Next up is Christian. This one's very very. Uh, it's not hard, but it hurts because I saw Fantasia for the first time this year, and like, I think that. Um, there are no well i don't think everything in fantasia really works and honestly i think if they had just singled out the parts that i liked then the movie would be perfect um <laughs> you know and it's really funny you'd sure. all probably think that my favorite would be uh night on bald mountain ave maria which to to be fair i think that that moment is one of the best things that has ever been animated um Toots. but honestly I love the Sorcerer's Apprentice even more. Oh, yeah, no. Like, I just adore yeah. the music that plays and the animation. It's just perfect. Fantasia gave me the highest highs 
and some middling dinosaur centaur lows. Aladdin <laughs> gets me high immediately and keeps me high <laughs> the entire time to a point where it's almost unfair. And while I can look at Fantasia and, and I can say I respect this so much as a piece of art and as as like the as like an art form, it might even be better than Aladdin. I think I just like Aladdin more, so I have to go with it. Yeah. Go, fam. Let's go smoke a high Jafar. <laughs> Next up Jafar. is Taylor. Yeah, I wonder. Listen, this movie is an artistic piece for sure, but I would argue that it's hardly a movie and more like a mm. concert. I feel like mm, if, yeah, you I this, if you go into this, if you go into this expecting to watch a movie, I feel like you are doing a disservice. You need to go and be prepared to immerse yourself in all of the senses of the music and the visual Good. and really appreciate it like you would a museum. And um, I wanted to watch a, too. I, I wanted to watch a movie and I listen, I, I made can... notes for every single one of the eight eight scenes and um, I really like Sorcerer of Apprentice, Moses much, but um but um the rest of it I got so bored i actually skipped through a lot of it um well that's why you didn't like it clearly uh, uh, I tr look it's I'm a two-hour movie it's really long it's the longest movie on this bracket um Nobody i do love the dinosaurs i do love the host and how melodious his voice is yeah. you know i talked to walt disney and he said to me that we were going to put on the sorcerer's apprentice and it was not was going it? to be Racist. It was actually I voice actor what? Corey Burton. They re-recorded it for the re-release. Yeah, he's um, great. Wait, really? So I, yeah. I understand. Okay. I understand why so many people are immersed and encapsulated by this, but I don't think. Uh, I don't think it's for me. Uh, and Aladdin is my second favorite Disney movie of all time. Sometimes even my favorite. <clears throat> if I'm being honest, rewatching it last night brought back so much joy, so much happiness, and I, I could watch it again today. Quite frankly. You brought up so a, that. you brought up All racism right. very briefly. I gotta say, I, Fantasia I, I, was another one of those movies that had one of those fucking warnings on it. And to yeah. be honest, I have no idea why. I think they probably edited it out of that release, so I don't know why probably. they even had the warning. But mm. because they did, they actually edit, they did edit this out of one of the DVD releases of Fantasia, which is one of the um, in the pastoral symphony um, um, bit with the centaurs. Um, there was a bit where there was a uh, like what one oh of the God, one right. The, yeah, yeah. Oh, was it in there? Was it in there? It was not in yeah. my in the version I saw, but I I okay. have seen clips of what you're talking about. I think it's it's uh it's blackface, right? No, no, it's not blackface. No, but there's like a um one of the um one of the centaurs is black and is um. Not very well rendered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you kind well, of design like a slave design almost, or like reminiscent of that. Well, also, also in context is um, polishing that's the hooves of a white centaur. Yeah, um, that's not great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's why. Okay. Yeah, because when I watched, I was like, "What? There was nothing racist in this for once. <laughs> There's nothing crazy." Yeah. Good. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're moving on to Graham. Uh, as much as I, as, as I love Aladdin, I, I think I just, I'm going to give it to Fantasia just because it is Good. just an absolute just work of art. And at, the end, at the end of the day, like, these are all just, like, experiences that, that we're having. I think uh, Fantasia is a very unique experience. Mm -hmm. If no one got me, I know Graham got me. Can I get a, <laughs> can I get an amen? Um, and then, yeah, Mick? Yeah, so I'm, I'm voting for Fantasia. Um, uh, a clanky, I kind of wish you were voting in this because I'm sure you, you know I would have voted for Fantasia. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Also, <laughs> even even if you were hesitant, I would have been able to throw in this that um, Matt Groening is a really big fan of oh, of dude. Fantasia, and he yeah. has tried but failed multiple times to do a Simpsons parody of Fantasia. Holy shit! That would have been amazing. Oh, it would have um, been a tough vote for me to be honest. But yeah, Jordan, this was also too close for comfort. Um, but he has mm. actually. Um, the um, the the on the uh, in Treehouse of Horrors, uh, uh, Treehouse of Horror Four, 
the appearance of Devil Flanders was designed to resemble Chernabog from Night on Bald Mountain. Yeah. You know, I see it. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Chernabog does have a good design. I'll give you that. Oh, yeah. yeah. So cool. Everything about uh, Night on Bald Mountain is fucking amazing. Yeah. Incidentally, I got to bring you guys at some point. At some point, I got to bring you guys to the Fantasia Golf Course at Disney World. The Can we do a oh, yeah. Disney Worldlies? I, I would sit out, but I'd love to yeah. host. <laughs> I would love to do it. Only, only yeah. if we all... Like, we gotta do the research. We all gotta go to Disney World. Yeah, exactly. Can I, just say, yeah. I could probably, hands down, do an entire bracket by myself of just haunted mansions. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember Mick, like, sat me down one day and showed me, like, the haunted mansion from Disney, Disney World China. And it's, like, the... the it's the coolest mm. fucking shit in the world. It was like, it was... There's actually there's, yeah, yeah. there's two there's two Disneyland's in China. Oh my god. <clears throat> Wait, right. hang on. Is Singapore China? Whatever. <laughs> anyway. Uh, well there's yeah. there's Shanghai and Hong Kong, is it? Uh-huh. Also a bit, yeah. there's, I thought it was, is it Shanghai? I thought it was Singapore. It's... No, it's Shanghai. It is yeah. okay. Yeah, there, there are two in China. Disney, Dis, Disney Sea in in uh, I believe Japan is like believed to be like the best Disney park. Just um, there's also ju there's also just Tokyo Disney, which a lot of people yeah. think they're the same thing, but they're not. So it's something uh, it's something to think about uh, yeah. as mm -hmm. as just a fun extra bracket sometime. I appreciate this that. next one. This next one is a little bit uh, interesting, I would say, because they're both uh, movies that aren't typically people's favorites. Uh, we mm. have <clears throat> Treasure Planet, which I believe is. A, oh, it's not. It is a Graham pick. Mm -hmm. And The Princess and the Frog, which is a Graham pick. Graham, <laughs> would you like to start? Uh, yeah. Um, right. I'm dying to so hear this. So I'll, I'll start with, uh, I'll start with this is The Princess and the Frog. Um, this right. is probably my favorite out of all of, like, the quote-unquote Disney princess, like, animated movies. Um mm -hmm. Like, I think it just has like some like style and heart to it. Um, Ray is like one of my favorite like uh, Disney like side characters, and oh, yeah. the little bit at the end where you see like he's like finally next to his like the love of his Grandma life. Cried. Oh, oh, I knew oh, that that was gonna be the moment cried. you guys you guys um, I cried. Was the best. Uh, Dr. Vasilie is such a fun oh, villain. Very fun uh, villain. Keith David. Yes. Can, I, can I ask you guys something? Mm -hmm. Did you find his death scene as chilling as I did? Oh, it's... it's... <laughs> where they, where they, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. But like more than that, I... he's begging, begging, screaming for his life as he's being dragged yeah. into the tombstone to be eternally... Like I feel like the idea is that he mm. was consciously dead. Like he's entombed, like he's cursed. I don't know. Like the yes. idea of that scene really creeped me out. I was surprised um, they yes, went through with just straight up murdering him. That that part I was surprised about. Oh, you're ready. Yeah. Can yeah, I actually? Um... So there, there is. There's one thing. Just while we're on the subject of uh, Doctor mm. Fossil, um, I kind of, he's got. Su he could have had such a great villain song. If they let it remain a song, and then yes, I know. Can sing it again. Oh my God, Mick, you're so right. Jesus. Yes. Oh, it started out as like, oh, this is gonna be one of my favorite Disney songs, and then the song just stops. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. It's, I was it's a genuine too. tragedy. It's a I know. Song. Um, here's a personal story. Uh, one time when we were up at Lake George, uh, Woo! I, I paddleboarded around, like, there's, like, a little, I, there's, like, a little, like, island yeah. that there's a hotel called the Sagamore. Uh, yeah. like, I, I paddleboarded yeah, around I it. There. Yeah. it. Took me, like, six hours, and to keep my sanity, I would just sing to myself, um, friends on the other side, like, almost the Hell entire yeah. time. I'll go for it. Um, <laughs> can, can I just say, I'm, ima I'm, ima I'm imagining Graham, I'm imagining Graham singing, like, the entire song. Like as it's actually like on the soundtrack, and so there's just like a good like three minute gap in the middle where he's just saying nothing. Personally, <laughs> I imagined it. Great, you said you're singing this on a boat. Um, no, I, I, on a paddleboard. On a paddleboard, I imagined you. I imagined you singing that, and then like I got friends on the oh this side, uh, and the rest of us rise up. <laughs> I just imagine that nobody's around to hear him sing. Also, um, yeah, this, this soundtrack is super jazzing. Uh, like one of my really one of my nice. all time Kevin, favorite yeah. d favorite Disney lines is when um like is is when the the, the prince is uh like transforming the frog and he like his tongue automatically like licks like a, a fly and he goes that's new <laughs> 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 which apparently was like I, I was looking into it the the script like called it be like the delivery to be more of like a huh. 
that's new. But, like, the actor decided to just make it a flirtatious line, which is really funny. <laughs> Prince Naveen is great. He's, he might be my favorite character in yeah. the entire movie. I love yeah, Prince Naveen. I, I, mm. well, I am partial to the alligator. Oh, I love Lewis. <laughs> Lewis is great. Lewis is a fun I, I, one. He was, I was not expecting him to be in the movie, so when I saw him... Actually, I, this is the most controversial <laughs> thing I'll say. I'm not the biggest Ray fan because I don't think we needed both of them. I found um, Ray to be absolutely sufferable, and you know what? Ray's That's fine. Who is Ray? The Firefly. Who is the, the Firefly? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I found him. I, I don't know. I, I found his. I didn't like his voice that much. I oh, but it's Jim liked... Cummings. That's Jim uh, Cummings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Winnie the Pooh. Holy shit. Uh, okay. I, I liked his I, first song quite a bit. Uh, and I loved his, and I actually did really like his character. It was just some of his later songs that kind of yeah. bored me to tears. No, but that's, that's why, unfortunately, I think that the, the, the death and that, that star moment are objectively great moments, but they didn't hit me as hard as they probably should have. Okay. okay. Man, did Louisiana. Right. And since Clanky just said that, we just informed him, Mark, let me segue into Treasure Planet. Please do. Billy! Treasure Bellies. Planet is... Well, first off, it is gorgeous. It is, like, one of the most visually stunning 2D animated uh, uh, Disney movies, I'd say, oh, is in uh, Fantasia. Like... I, I was going to say, uh, uh, three, 2D animated. I'm like, that That needs a big asterisk next to it. But, no, <laughs> but like, the, the, ship, the ship in something are, is, like, 3D animated, but, like, the backgrounds, the space, just because... Well, not space, because not a space movie. They're in the ether. Which is yeah. not space. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's what I meant to. When it's not space. Graham, movie. I saw the movie. Calm down. Okay. Um, <laughs> but now Taylor loves space. Uh, yeah, that's Long don't, John, don't Long John Silver is one of like is one of my my favorite Disney villains. Uh, because just it, it it's such like a simple but very like moving like. Like, he starts out as a villain who, that yeah, I'm a pirate, I just want gold, but he kind of, like, develops this this kinship with Jim, and, like, he starts to, like, kind of, like, doubt, like, like and, like, the scene, like, at the end, like, just the, the, the literally having treasure in his hands or, or saving Jim, like, that'll always get me. May um, I make a yeah. controversial statement, if that's okay? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, I personally think, uh, Long, Long John Silver choosing Jim is actually incredibly out of character, and I think he should have chose the treasure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he had the had the whole like there were all these scenes like of him. Yeah, I'm like, with Graham on this one. You guys, uh, were, I watched this movie yeah. with Jordan and Christian, and they were saying that. Um, but I, I actually thought that yeah, he had I, all I these that. like I think that like final decision that was like the final test basically where like any everything else that was like all right well, maybe i can have the treasure <laughs> and keep jim alive but this was like the final no you have to choose like one or the other and then like the final sequence with the planet breaking apart and jim having to like, seconds. yes oh my god also <laughs> Bob, yeah morph, seconds. Uh, morph is uh, like That's cute my favorite thing about Morph is like when you first see it, you're like, "Huh, like yeah, that's that's cute." I wonder why like they gave him like like this pirate like a little like thing that like can like change, and you realize like, "Oh, he's a parrot." Pretty much, he's repeating I love that. Oh, rather than I love rather that. than see oh, that's okay. clever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, um, um, also, all the alien designs, uh, I, Mr. I, Mr. I, Arrow, the 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 fucking I, like crab guy. I, I don't know. Tabitola? I felt like they just yeah. were like, we need to stuff as many aliens as possible into this movie for the sake yeah. of having as many aliens in this movie. There's dude, Graham. There's just one that makes fart jokes. All right. Yeah. There's there's too many. Yeah. No one can defend the fart alien. The fart alien made me want to shut off the movie. Um, also, <laughs> it's one um, of the flatulents. The thing, my favorite part about Long John Silver is when Jim is crying into his <laughs> stomach. Um, yeah. Yes. And so, at least. so we just had we just had this bit where it's like, no, Jim, cry into my belly. It makes me feel good. You got the making of greatness in you, Jimbo. Oh fuck. Um, so good. 
Uh, David Hyde Pierce is here. I love him. Yes. So, you know, that's enough. I, but the thing, Graham, is I think the CG in this movie, and maybe this is my controversial thing, mm. it, like, actively made me physically uncomfortable. Long John Silver's arm is so overly complicated to the point that it's gaudy and tacky that, like, I'm actually visually I've, repulsed by it. I actually, I, I didn't even know his arm was CGI until you said it. Really? Uh, yeah. It must have been I didn't realize most of the movie it. was CG. No, I, I saw started. it like maybe a year ago. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, here's the yeah. other thing um, about this movie. It takes one hour for Martin Short to show up. Yeah. yeah. And that's too long. Martin Short should have 30 been. 30 minutes for, for Silver to show up, I think, right? Uh, something like that. Maybe even shorter. Mm hmm. Honestly, it's like an hour for Martin yeah. Short to show up, and I say I wish it took two hours for him to show up. That's not all, but I like Martin yeah. Short from that. <laughs> that's uh, I don't know. I, 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 listen, I just like Martin Short, and he, Ben is the only thing I remembered about this movie when I saw it in theaters. I've forgotten the whole rest of the movie and every other thing yeah. about it. I, this movie, it's fine. It's yeah. just and, fine. I, I, no, I, I really want like a life size replica of like the map, like at some point, like when I get like my own office or something. I think there's a lot to love about Treasure yeah. Planet. Like there is mm -hmm. a lot of really cool action. There is, and I, it's the, mm -hmm. it's the third science fiction space adaptation of Treasure Island. <laughs> third is the best. Yeah. Because for the first was the Treasure Planet. Oh, don't uh, even get the Bulgarian Treasure Planet. Oh yeah. my god. Then there was the Italian movie Treasure <laughs> Island in Outer Space. Mm -hmm. Which honestly, oh, yeah. for that title, this one was the best of the three. Just really on the nose. But well, we're um, watching Bulgarian Treasure Planet. Uh, we're oh, we're, of watching. course we're watching. You guys Bulgarian can Treasure do that one without me. I'm ready to vote, by the way. Unless yeah. Graham has more. To anyway, say about let's. We should probably vote. Yeah, we should get to the vote. Um, mm -hmm. We should. We go to a new turn order. We will start with Taylor. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> I like the Princess and the Frog way more than I thought I would. I I think it's I think the soundtrack's good. I think a lot of the characters and arcs are fun. Um, way more southern than I I thought it was going to be, but that's fine. The, the South has good ideas every once in a while. It's, it's um, Orleans, yeah. <laughs> I'll vote for I'll vote for the Princess and the Frog. All right. Next up <laughs> is Mick. So I should. I have seen none of these. I have seen neither of these movies. Right. Come back to me. Okay. okay. Graham? I'm also going to need you to come back to me. Oh, All really? Right. Jordan? No, I, I put both of these movies here. Well, well, then it's a good thing I know what I'm voting for. Uh, Princess and the Frog was such an unexpected, joyous watch for me. And there's so much I love about that movie. So many great songs in it, so many great feelings and moments. Uh, not, to desert, not to discredit Treasure Planet, which I liked but didn't love. Uh, Princess and the Frog, I think, should be talked about more as a top tier Disney animated movie. I'm I think it was it the Princess last 2D Frog. Disney animated movie. No, that's Winnie the. Uh, was it The Adventures of Winnie the Pooh or just yeah. Winnie the Pooh? Winnie, I think it was just called Winnie the Pooh. Just yeah. Winnie the Pooh. Okay. okay. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. It's like it did, Yoshi. Yeah. It did yeah. under. Yoshi. Yeah. Yoshi. Yeah. It did. It did <laughs> underperform, which is is one of the things that led them Disney to be like, we'll never do 2D again. Yeah. Which is, you know, they did reopen their 2D animation studios. Oh, right. Yeah. Aren't, didn't they, like, coming out with, like, a 2D animated something? I think Supposedly, I saw. Supposedly, oh, I guess we'll have to see. After Claws yeah. and Wolfwalkers. Anyway, it's Christmas turn. Everyone needs to see it, even if it sucks, just to prove to them that they can still make money with 2D yeah. animation. Yeah. Agreed. Anyway, anyway uh, Christian. Yeah, Christian, you're up. Um, don't worry, I'll make everything real easy for the rest of y'all. I want to. I want to give the disclaimer that there is not a single movie on this bracket that I even <clears> think <throat> is meh. I think I liked everything that I watched here, um, and at least liked. Um, and I liked Treasure Planet. Um, there were things about it that bothered me. Characters I wish didn't exist, and a Goo Goo Doll song that I think would have been better if it was completely divorced from the movie. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> Well, Treasure Planet basically met my expectations. The Princess and the Frog superseded my expectations in such a strong way where I was really not expecting to love all the characters as much as I did and all the songs as much as I did. Um, yeah. So I really do got to give it to the Princess and the Frog. All right. Mm -hmm. So then we go back to Mick. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to give it to Treasure Planet. I haven't seen it, but I feel like if you, like if you were to ask me like what I'm more in the mood for, at any time, I think the, I think I'm more likely to be in the mood to watch 
Treasure Island, but in space, rather than a Disney princess yeah. movie. Which is fair. You know, I definitely thought... To be that fair, she's not a princess for most of the movie. Okay. Neither is Snow White. For literally the last 30 seconds, I, she's I, a princess. All right, all right. Fair Mulan enough. is ever you a princess. Vote for Treasure Planet. Graham, what do you vote for? Neither is Mulan. Is it, is um, it, right. Isn't her dad like the chief? So does that technically make her... Graham vote. Yeah. Treasure Planet. <laughs> Either way, uh, Graham, what's your pick? Okay. He voted for Treasure Planet. Uh, treasure he planet. said Treasure, treasure Planet. All right, perfect. Yeah. All right. Okay, cool. And then we move on to Lilo and Stitch, uh, <laughs> v- which is a Taylor pick Taylor against pick. the three Caballeros, <laughs> which is a Mick pick. <laughs> so, Let's talk, talk about that. I'm about, I, I'm about to witness a massacre. I was wondering if it's okay if I could ask uh, if Mick and Taylor are okay with it. If you're not okay with it, that's fine. Um, I would like to get my thoughts about Lilo and Stitch out of the way and then transition smoothly into the, the three caviars. Smoothly? Yes. <laughs> All right. So if that's okay. Do. Is that okay with both of you? Is, is that literally cool? Sure. Yeah. Go do what you got to do. Okay. Three, two, one. Out. The reason why I find such importance in starting and wanting to start this round so badly is because I think this round has probably my only like super controversial Disney opinion. That Disney opinion is Lilo and Stitch did not impress me as much as I wanted it to. Um, I know a lot of people, a lot of people sing this movie up to be amazing. It's somebody I, Sam, I, <laughs> and I and I respect. It wasn't that so, clanky for once. I respect that so much because I think <laughs> the underlying themes of this movie. You know what people most get out of it. I think is really like valuable, and it's, 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 uh, this movie is like you know from a uh, if you ever judge movies in an objective standpoint, which I don't think you should. Um, I think this movie is objectively really really good. Um, the thing about Lilo and Stitch that bothered me the most, though, and this is a weird complaint, um, is that for the first hour of this movie, it was just nothing but a horrible misfortune befalling all of our characters non-stop with no levity um now as you guys you guys know me i didn't I, get that I, impression what i just didn't get that impression no, that's fair that. and I, I mean i got that impression it's like i you guys know me you guys know i'll watch like fucking like i'm gonna watch gray with a fireflies tonight to cheer myself up you know you guys know <laughs> I, I like i'm totally fine with uh with with things being a downer but when i go into a movie expecting a kind of like light-hearted family comedy I was very surprised to see Lilo and Stitch just beat me down senselessly with characters fighting and just being angry at each other and misunderstandings. It's like, I, what, but what makes it even worse than that, than just the misfortune on its own, is that the misfortune makes everything in this movie incredibly predictable to the point where I knew things were going to happen 20 minutes before they fucking happened. Like... I was like, as soon as a character started surfing, I was like, oh, they're going to do a surf scene, and then Stitch is going to fall in the water, and then they're going to save Stitch. Oh, congratulations, Stitch. Christian, you cracked the code. And it's like, and you know, and then of course, as soon congratulations, as- Congratulations, you're smarter than a kid's movie. No, I get to that. And I, I was saying that, you know, as soon as Nani left the house, I was like, okay, you know, I'm fucking, then the alien's going to show up, and they're going to blame it on Lilo, and she's going to fucking get separated from Nani, and they're going to mope about it. It's like- But would you not have movie. had that? What happened? All right, whatever. It's a kid's uh, movie. I get it. But I watched a lot of movies for the first time during the course of this uh, Disney Leads, and I didn't notice it nearly as strong in any movie other than Lilo and Stitch. And I gotta say, you know, despite the fact that I'm still voting for Lilo and Stitch, I, I really, like, <laughs> I, I, it just... bugged me that I didn't, like, enjoy it, I think, as much as a lot of people. Um... Christian, can I just say, I like how your complaint about Lilo and Stitch is that it was way too predictable. For a kid's which movie, is funny, I get it. Which is funny when contrasted with the other movie on the bracket. <laughs> which I couldn't predict a single <laughs> fucking thing that happens. In this <laughs> yeah. Which is so not a compliment. So would you like to continue, Christian? No, I think at this point I'll disperse it to the people who actually want to talk. You know, Taylor wants no, to respond. No, no, Christian, I want, to hear you, I want to hear you talk about that. I have much less to say about The Three Caballeros. The Three Caballeros okay. is really fun when it's animated. When it's not animated, I want it to go to bed. <laughs> like, you know, it, it it made no sense to the majority of it. The scenes had strange juxtaposition to each other. And it was just, if anything, very bizarre. Donald is so horny. I wouldn't have it any other the way. The last 40 minutes of the movie are just how many women he can stick his duck in. I wouldn't I wouldn't have it any other way. I, I think The Three Caballeros is perfect for what it is. 
anyone else have any <laughs> want to share any thoughts with Freak Out My Yeah, yeah, I got a couple. This okay. movie's boring. Um, boring. And, um, okay, fair enough. Listen, no, it's not. Listen, uh, no, Three Caballeros, not Lilo and Stitch. No, I know that. I'm just I'm saying, yeah. right, boring listen, is a listen, very listen. interesting word to describe it. But okay. Listen, I... I went on the Three Caballeros ride at Disney World, and I had all these great memories of how much fun the, the ride was. So I'm like, oh, this movie yeah. is going to be a love letter to that ride. And then nothing happens in it. And the one namesake song with, with the Three Caballeros actually being the Three Caballeros, which has no, you know, no setup. Just like, hey, I'm here. We're the Three Caballeros. Here's the song. And the song is good, and I like it. We're the Three Caballeros. The Three Caballeros. We're always together, except they're not always together. Um, no, they're not. No. But um, I like that part. But everything else is just these long and drawn out dance routines. And it's like, yeah. it's like, oh, let's go to Bay Year. Oh, we're in Bay Year. Oh, look at all the stuff Bay Year is doing. Oh, they're dancing and they're dancing and they're dancing. Oh, now Donald's on the beach and Donald is trying to talk to every is woman. such a funny pronunciation of Bay Year. Um, but whatever. Well, Sorry. To me, I, when the first time he said Bahia, I thought there was just some weird pronunciation of Brazil from like like how Mexico is is how Mexicans oh, yeah. pronounce Mexico. Yeah. It's like I thought it was like all right, so you just drop out most of the word Brazil and say Bahia. Yeah, and I just I just don't think there's a story. I think it's it tries there to be kind of it, it's, edu it's yeah. educational and not really educational. I, 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 it's fine. Yeah, that, that, that's all I have bonkers. to say about it. It, 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 just, it. just, I just think it's kind of a nothing movie, and I, I don't. I don't mean. To, I don't mean to sound as bitter as I am. I, I don't really like. Yeah. I don't have any contempt for it. It's just I was expecting a lot more. I had a lot of higher expectations, but it was yeah. the first movie I won me, on these sixteen. No, let me be clear. It's eye popping. It's it's, it's the things in this movie that are done that haven't really been done before in terms of blending. It's Fantasia with words. Action. Yeah. All right, Lilo and Stitch time. Lilo's the fucking best. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, She's I, no Jose Carioca. <laughs> Nick, let me start. Um, the, fucking, the fucking first scene. Fuck. <laughs> 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 All right, you want to just vote? That's so stupid. No, no, Taylor, I'm listening. <laughs> I was. I didn't even hear what he said. The stupidest fucking comparison. He's no. Was it Karuka? You killed Christian. <laughs> okay, we're fine. <laughs> anyway, Lilo. Um, I listen. I just think this movie holds up really well as an adult, and I there are all these lines that I had forgotten about from a kid. Like I had forgotten so much of this movie. The fucking whole thing about about the aliens going to Earth is bleakly. is like, listen, we have to protect the mosquito. It's an endangered species. And then, that. like at the end of the movie, this the the health the the the, the guy is like, yeah, I had to make Over up this lie about the mosquito being an endangered species. <laughs> um, I I think that there are so many great running gags with the mosquito. The fa the guy with the ice cream, he keeps trying to eat his ice cream, <laughs> yes. and he loses his ice cream. <gasps> um, yeah, the supporting cast is great: Jumba, Pleakley, Cobra Bubbles. Um, but like Lilo is just such a fun child who has such a fun perspective on the world. Her first scene where she's talking about feeding a sandwich to her fish friend, he's like, but my sister bought me a tuna sandwich. Do you know what's in tuna? <laughs> and, um, like, I you like realize, that. like, she mentions, like, uh, like, oh, yeah, I could, like, that fish controls the weather, and, like, her parents, like, die, like, I think in a car crash caused by bad weather. Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, I, I I missed that actually. Yeah. Um, you yeah, should I, shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna mute myself. It doesn't matter if I mute myself. I'm still gonna come into the recording. <laughs> Tell me, Donald. Tell me what I'm my ears. <laughs> this is the hardest Christian's laugh. This is the joke. <laughs> um, Hawaiian roller coaster ride. Yeah. Fucking underrated gem of a song. Um, it is. and you know, Elvis Presley is throughout it, and it made me like Hound Dog. And I listened to the soundtrack a ton as a kid. Yeah. It's a great soundtrack. Um, I don't have a lot of negatives. I think maybe Gantu doesn't get a lot of time as the primary antagonist. Is he the uh, killer whale maybe, guy? Not really. Maybe Stitch's arc could have gone on longer, yeah, but I think what's yeah. here is really sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and the Galactic Federation commander, very well written character, very I got, neutral. I gotta yeah. say, honestly, you know, I talked trash about this movie earlier. I gotta say, the the ending of the movie with the Galactic commander and, and a lot of the characters you mentioned. 
uh, the ending of the movie, despite being a movie filled to the brim with nothing but misunderstandings, is one of the most understanding endings I think I've ever seen to a Disney movie. And I really yeah, love that's it. Great. I that, that love scene the where, ending so that much. scene where Stitch goes, this is my family. It's little mm -hmm. and broken, but still good. Oh. So good. Please send me the nicest angel you have. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. I'm good if you guys are. Are we uh, mm -hmm. ready to vote? Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. All right. So uh, we'll start again at the top of the card <clears throat> order with Taylor. What if I vote for the three caballeros? You should do it for You're going to need a little black magic dawn. Oh. Calamity will ensue. Yeah. Oh, Mick, you should do it. It's, it would be funny. Okay. Yeah. Nah, leave alone, Stitch. Yeah. All right, Mick. Um, so uh, I'm gonna. V so I've not seen Lilo and Stitch. Confession. Um, I've seen parts of it. Um, and I have a lot of fond memories of watching the TV show of Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, uh, it's a on great Disney show. Channel as a kid. Yeah. Um, especially. Um, especially. Leroy especially, and I Stitch. <laughs> Yo, Leroy, Leroy and Stitch. Oh my God! Yeah. The sandwich guy, six two five. No, no, no. 625 is, oh, yeah. is, is one of the best characters because he is as powerful as Stitch, but just wants to make sandwiches. <laughs> I know! It's I agree. Bad. I agree. Fuck. Um, Damn, or tuna. However, anyway. I used to watch uh, The Three Caballeros a bunch as a kid. Um, I have, I'll even, and like, it's, you know, it is, a, it, it is, it's a fever dream. Um, Yes. Uh, it, it is it is a fever dream of the mo uh, of a movie it is vaguely educational but also kind of not um it yeah. is um it descends slowly into madness uh -huh. um uh slowly. By, to like no 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 but like oh he's right it starts out as like oh okay this is going to be a couple of shorts and then by the end of it it is absolute insanity um um and uh I, I I guess the other thing just I'm not sure how much enough of I'm not sure how much this is the movie's fault. However, I would like to point out that I used to watch this movie a bunch as a kid, and every single girl I've dated has been Hispanic. Um, so oh my is, god, is is there is there is I'm not look I'm not saying look I'm not, to buy it? I'm voting for the three caballeros. I really yes. hope. Great. Like, make I really hope as there isn't a boy in, in my. In, in your life, where you're like, yeah, I, I met my wife because of Three Caballeros. <laughs> that would you know really what? tie the character arc together. It's a funny story. You know what? I'll tell you the story after, but whatever. Uh, I actually do have a story related to that. Anyway. Um, um, move on. Lilo and Stitch. Alright, Jordan? Mick, is your pickup line to most women, have you been to Bahia? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm voting for Lilo and Stitch. Because the thing is, if I did that, I could respond with Jose's actual response, which is, no, I've not been to Bahia. I think it's just now. <laughs> and Christian. Yeah, I heard from a couple sources that the Three Caballeros is sort of like one of Disney's sort of like budget movies that they were making to sort of like raise money for their bigger movies. And considering that, like, this was not even made to be one of Disney's bigger movies, I think this movie succeeds and then some. Uh, and like, absolutely i you know compared to some of the other disney short movies i haven't really watched a lot of them it's definitely better than the one that is the stupid bear short um but like i don't even know what you're talking about but okay. it's fun and bongo. fancy free of course yeah fun and fancy free with bongo the bear bongo. i think yeah um you're saying a lot bongo. of nouns but yeah uh, three, three caballeros i i i kind of like i only like this movie but i also kind of love this movie i don't, I don't really get it um Despite fact, and despite the fact that it is actually very close to me, I do really like Lilo and Stitch, so I'm going to be voting for it. All okay. right. Cool. And that is what three to two, or no, four to one for Lilo and Stitch, right? Four to one. All right. <laughs> yeah. You know, what? look, I, I I saw this one coming. I saw this one coming. I'm I'm not upset. I get it. I totally get it. Had I seen Lilo and Stitch, I might have voted for Lilo and yeah, Stitch. Oh, uh, Mick, this is the <laughs> coolest you've been about anything you've submitted. <laughs> well, look. I get it. No, it is not a. It is bare. <laughs> it is... Yes, it is. Moving on. All right. This one I know is going to hurt me, but I've accepted it at this point. It is uh, The Emperor's New Groove, which is a Jordan pick, versus mm -hmm. my wild card and favorite Disney animated movie, Alice in Wonderlands. All right. Who would like to start? 
So I'm going to start with a bold claim. The Emperor's New Groove is one of the funniest movies ever made. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ever. I, 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 yeah. I agree with that. Mm, it's pretty funny. It's, it's a lot of the same hysterical energy that made, you know, something like Shrek 2 so beloved. And it is very much in The Emperor's New Groove. And it really comes down to this, which is a weird way to make a, a funny movie like this. Disney spent most of the 90s trying to make this Mayan epic in the same vein as their African epic and their French epics with this movie that was supposed to be Kingdom of the Sun. And they were trying way too hard to make it this big thing. It was going to be this print in the pauper thing. Sting was going to do the whole store. Score, it was going to be big and over the top in a way I think Pocahontas and Hercules were going to be. So this movie existing not as a big Disney Renaissance epic, but just a low-key buddy comedy. That is why it works. The stakes are so low. David Spade and John Goodman aren't trying to make this The Lion King. They're just trying to make an animated comedy. It's just a really fucking funny movie. There's so many jokes and lines in this that are so well-remembered. I mean, you can say the, the phrase, uh, Kronk, pull that lever, and, you, and somebody else is going to say... Wrong lever! Kronk! I would have said... You have so bottom. many... Yeah, I was going to also about to say that. So I get Bring, that it <laughs> Bring it on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's all coming together. The, the amount of yeah. times okay. I've, like... Send that message like the group chat like before like a shift at work where I'm like I know this is gonna be like this is gonna suck. Well, to uh, me, it's, okay, it's, don't it's finish the, the comment, one. Graham. No, I said the amount of times no, I send that to my oh, friend. Okay, group. sorry, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I misheard. Okay, okay, yeah. To, to me, it's the um, the 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 crunk. The emperor needs his drink. Oh, right, yeah, right, right, right. Patrick That's Warburton is my favorite voice actor ever. Yeah, he's so he's wonderful. Sweet. sweet. The yeah. diner uh, scene. Oh my, oh my god. god! I love that it scene is, so much. It is so many so good great. jokes. Oh, I'm sorry. I was gonna say. Also, it still has Sting in it, and Tom Jones. Yeah, one song. A lot of people. One Sting song or song, if you will. A lot no, of no, no. Sting has two songs. Oh right. A yes. lot of people sting. like the uh, removed song. <laughs> From this movie is I, I don't remember it was it was Isma's song. Um, yes, I don't I remember, remember the name of the song. I haven't listened to it myself. I actually wanted to before this film was, but uh, 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 snuff out the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's apparently a uh, people yeah, snuff like out the light. love this song, and you know maybe if it was in the movie, maybe it'd be like honestly even better, like a, a four and a half star to a five star for me. I don't know, you know. Hmm. I mean, it is Eartha Kit. But yeah, no, just mm. amazing comedy, some very Looney Tunes-esque gag mentality. Yeah. Uh, it, it doesn't feel like work to watch it, unlike a lot of movies that I have nominated, admittedly. It's just a really fun watch, and it just makes me smile every time. I was scared to watch this as a kid because of what I said about the whole transfer transformation thing getting to me as a kid. I didn't like the idea yes. of a prince turning into a llama. And I remember they had the toys at McDonald's, and I'm like, Mom, Dad, can I get the Emperor's New Groove toy? Sure, but you have to see the movie. I don't want the toy anymore. Uh, Thankfully, mm. the transformation is, like, completely instant, isn't it? Yeah, no, like, that's that's what I realized when I actually did end up watching it. Like, oh, yeah, this isn't a big deal It's not at all. super instant, but, like, he does, like, it's not like he morphs into it, but, like, he'll, he'll. Yeah, like, it's not like the donkeys from Pinocchio. It, it, it's, it's, like a, it's like a poof, and then, like, yeah. oh, he has, like, a long neck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, this is one of the wittiest things on the list, for sure. Cusco and yes. Franck, moi. Yeah great lines and Tatcha's kindness very wholesome and nice um my only yeah. my only problem with the movie is i think it's a little too short and i think that works as a detriment because i feel like um Cusco's character arc <clears throat> isn't as realized as it could be his self-reflection through his narrator self-talking for him i don't think it's as impactful as finding a moment to give him like the hero speech where he reflects on how he's learned to find kindness i feel like it kind of just happens um and like you know, I think if the movie was a little longer, they could have fit that in. And yeah. um, it's one of those things and, where, like, even on its own, I, f I, I find it quite satisfying. But if it was longer, it probably would have been improved. Like, yeah. So because so actually... Cusco's a Cusco's a dick. Oh, yeah, he's an asshole. Um, he, has a, he has a lot to atone for. And I when feel he like becomes nice. Been... It's like one of the greatest fucking things. It's like one of my favorite endings next to Lilo and Stitch. You know. But Mickey, you're gonna I say just, sorry. I think they could have yeah, worked a little harder. Cool. So just something, little... I, something I was actually gonna say is that there it, 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 there is a sort of like an odd bit about it where. Because they do the, you know, the, you know, record scratch, yep, that's me, uh, a bit. And yep. the thing is, though, is that, like, behind the scenes, like, you know, uh, interrupting the movie Kuzco is, like, beginning of the movie Kuzco, where he's still a dick, rather than later yeah. in the movie having learned his lesson Kuzco, which is really weird. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, I will say, actually, I anyway, could say a few things about um, Alice in Wonderland, actually. Unless, Clanky, I, I know sometimes hosts yes, can take the reins um, on, their, on their picks if you want to say things about Alice in Wonderland. I wouldn't mind talking about Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I love Alice in Wonderland. I think that it, uh, I, I really just love the idea of this girl gets trapped in like this, in this wonderland. And it, it's just about her experiencing all the weird shit that this place has to offer. I feel like every encounter she has is really, really memorable, not only in like, in like humor and entertainment, but also just the animation. Like we could talk about like the the mad tea party scene all all day because it's probably one of the most famous. But mm-hmm. even like the even like the littler scenes, like the one where she talks to the caterpillar that's smoking the hookah. I love and that like, caterpillar. She, mm-hmm. Yeah, and when she and when she's talking to like all the flowers and everything and like that in that garden <clears> or whatever, and they say that she's a weed and everything. When she's like, giant and then, in the house. Yeah, and the um mm. and uh the whole encounter with the Queen of Hearts is just like so much fun. Mm. She's such a great just... villain. It's one of the in my opinion, one of the great <clears throat> classic Disney villains. Even if she's not in the movie for as much as I feel like she should be, I feel like that she's a very fun and entertaining villain to watch and her with like the little king that's always like, Oh yes, me yeah. I, I am just I just think that they're great. I I'm sorry, I can't let that one go. What do you think makes the Queen of Hearts a great villain? Because from my perspective all she does is say off with her head over and over again. It's very and that's entertaining. The Disney equivalent, yeah. No, but that's the Disney equivalent to Broly from Dragon Ball, who just goes... And people Rock. love Broly. Sure, people do love <laughs> no, Broly. No, they don't. You know they what? I kind they, of understand why people like Broly do. now. After seeing the Queen of Hearts, <laughs> I, I kind of get it. I kind of get it. I just, I... Off with your head is funny. I think it's annoying. I think the Queen of Hearts mm-hmm. shows up way too late, and I just, I... I so like can I, well. I actually so I want to I want to make um, my comment about um, my opinions about the Disney uh, Alice in Wonderland because clicking I'm totally with you I love Alice in Wonderland <clears throat> I'm not a huge fan of this as an adaptation mm-hmm. it's certainly one of the better adaptations um, because they don't try to add a story it's just yes. no literally just no. it's like it's like a Disney dark ride where she just has to keep encountering weird shit yeah yeah. That's kind of why I'm not into it. Personally, I I think I'm okay. So my thing with it, my thing with with Disney's Alice in Wonderland is that it's a little too um. I don't know. Like, there's something about it which is a little. It feels a little toothless, like a lot of the weird shit in this. I don't know. Like, I kind of because you're king. Yeah, (laughs) that's what I mean. All teeth. The, the, like the, the book Alice in Wonderland, there's something sort of like weird and uncomfortable about it. And like, yeah, there's some, and I it's... feel like that's translated to the movie as well as a Disney movie could do that. Yeah, you know? yeah, no, no, no. yeah. I, I guess my, my I guess my issue is that it is a Disney movie of this era. I I get I, I don't know. It's just part of me. I think it's just like the original illustrations for like the um the uh like the the the, the book are like really unsettling, and I kind of wish. The, the movie had some of that energy. Yeah, they had to make compromises, um, I guess, because of uh. Obviously, yeah, yeah. and I, I, I just, I just kind of wish the movie's a little more unsettling. Um, <laughs> Me too. I, I would re- like that. Yeah, I would. Uh, like yeah, but I don't think the fact that it isn't unsettling makes it. Worse. Oh no, 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 no! Like that's that's a th- that that's kind of my point is that like this isn't actually like this isn't a detriment to the movie. It's just something I would have liked more. Without and uh, when I when I say that, I don't mean I want it to be like dark and edgy or anything. Like, like uh, Tim Burton's Tim fucking Burton monstrosity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. That's the one that I so, saw first. So, so I, I actually I, I want to say I don't think Tim Burton I don't think Tim Burton's one is like that's not what actually what I'm thinking about in terms of edgy because its problem is not that it's. Is that not that it's edgy? It's that it tries to add a plot. Mm-hmm. Um, that that's its mm-hmm. problem. Um, like what I was thinking is something like American McGee's Alice. Um, oh, like Alice Madness Returns or whatever that game is called. Yeah, no, no, no. The original. So Madness Returns is the sequel <laughs> to a game called American McGee's Alice. Um, American McGee, incidentally, was like one of the guys who worked on Doom, and he seems to think that that makes him like good enough to like use his name in the thing. Wow. Like, no one knows who he is. Like, you can't just, you can't do that if no one knows you. You can't just say, this is so-and-so's thing. It's like, well, we don't know who so-and-so is. This is Christian last names, tennis. Everyone's gonna buy that up. Yeah. Anyway. If I, um, oh, actually, I would. If I may add one thing, actually, if that's okay. Um, yeah, sure. 
the one there, there's actually only one part and like one thing that I didn't really like about Alice in Wonderland, and that's there's a part in Alice in Wonderland where you can kind of see that the the creators have stretched their creativity as far as it can possibly go to the point where they're just stapling random objects on birds, and like I didn't find that part really interesting, and I got Wait, kind of bored. Sta stapling things on birds, hang on. What was like there's bird that? heads with hammers and a, a thing and another. Th I can't. Remember. Fuck, I... There was, like, one with, like, a glasses bird that went over Alice. It was when she was exploring the woods, I think, before or after she met the, uh, the March Hare and the... Yeah, it was uh, exactly after that. And I thought it was actually, like, uncharacteristically uninspired compared I to the have rest no, of the movie. I, ha I have no memory of that. Uh, yeah, I, I, it's of... definitely the weaker part of it, but I don't know. Also, the, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Clinky, but the dodo bird's not in the movie, is he? No, he is. He is. Like the one who's like the he he's is. like the landlord for the white rabbit, right? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, I, I couldn't remember if right. the dodo I, I for some reason I the dodo has completely escaped my mind. And I was gonna yeah. say it's weird because it, it's weird because the dodo is like Lewis Carroll's self insert character. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hmm. It's kinda of, so uh, Lewis Carroll, his real name was Ludwig Dodgson. Um and oh, he had a name. stutter. He had a stutter, and so when he would pronounce his last name, he would say d d d d d and so that's why he made himself a dodo bird. Oh, that's right. Clever. Okay. Um, but we definitely I'll, should I'll, get I'll to the voting. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready to vote. Okay. Yes, we should. So we'll start with you, Taylor. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, Clanky. I kind of found <clears throat> this movie boring. Um, I, I, I think, I, I think the Mad Hatter and Chester Cat are fun and iconic characters, but I feel like they're barely there. I don't like the songs. I think a lot of the scenes before meeting the Cheshire Cat are pretty uh, are pretty forgettable. Uh, I do love watching Alice slowly lose her patience with Wonderland to the point that when she's at court, she just has her hand on her cheek, just like, right, what the fuck are we doing here? Um, <laughs> but uh, I think the Emperor's New Groove is one of the funniest things on here. And uh, uh, very I, I, one of my favorite things that I got to rewatch uh, during the course of this. Uh, so it's no contest. All right. Mick, you're up. Come back to me. All right. Graham, you're up. I really do enjoy Alice in Wonderland. Um, I was the Bad Hatter in my high school's production of, of it. Um, yeah. What a Graham yep. role. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, oh, there's a picture I, of I it. I would have like, put like, him like, in Twiddle Dear Twiddle no, no, well, honestly, no, because Mad that, Hatter personally. I yeah, think yeah. No, um, I would have given Mad Hatter to Mick. No, the the people. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Mix a Cheshire yeah, because... Cat. Mix a Cheshire Cat. I would have given you Cheshire Cat, Christian. I'm like, we were in Graham's high school. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah. We'll, we'll, when we go, when we when we do our uh, yearly production of Alice in Wonderland, we'll have a discussion. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Emperor's New Groove is just like man. It is it like. Again, it's just like one of the funniest movies ever made. Fair enough. So then, now we're going uh, to Jordan. Yeah. Oh, are you? I'm sorry, Graham. Are you? Yeah, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm just saying. Okay. I'm okay. Done. Okay. Jordan, you're up. Yeah. Right. Jordan's vote. Vote meant specifically for Jordan going to Emperor's New Groove. Fair enough. Christian, is that a Kronk joke? It was a Kronk joke? Yeah. Yes. It was the poison. The poison specifically. Ah, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> this one hurts because I really like both of these. I think The Emperor's New Groove for me would have really, really benefited from a rewatch because while I super duper enjoyed this movie when I when I saw it, I don't remember like anything about it right now. And it's really hard for me to get mm -hmm. all of the references you're making. Mm -hmm. But it's also very, very rare that a that a strictly comedy movie can leave a very strong impression on me. And I remember when I finished The Emperor's New Groove, I was like, holy shit, <laughs> one of the best things I've ever seen. And with much love and respect to Alice in Wonderland, because I think Alice in Wonderland is fantastic, um, I'm going to have to give it to The Emperor's New Groove. Wow. Yeah, it hurts. So we're back to Mick. And Mick? So what is the score right now? Four to Four nothing. nothing. You know what? Even though I think I actually do prefer Emperor's New Groove, I'm gonna give it to uh, Alice in Wonderland just because I. Yeah. I, cool. I don't think it deserves no votes. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that I can agree. Neither, I agree. Neither with that. do I. <laughs> we, the Hawaii Five-O theme will not play here. It is, it is banned here. It'll happen in the losers bracket when <laughs> it goes against yeah. either Hunchback or Atlantis. Don't make me think yeah. about that. Well, <laughs> well, no. Well. All right. 
Well, after that, we move on to the Hunchback of Notre Dame versus um, Atlantis the Lost Empire. Hunchback being a... Yep, that is a Jordan pick versus Atlantis, yes. which is a Graham pick. All right? Oh, boy. Would like to start? And then once <laughs> you guys start, I have to be right back, but I will keep the timer running and everything. All good. Uh, yeah. Could I start? Can I just say one yeah. thing? Yes, you may. Because I, I just started, so yeah. Yeah, Graham can start. All right, go ahead. Uh, you, Taylor, you want to say one thing? Yeah. Michael okay. J. Fox, really? I thought it was... But yeah, are you I don't serious? Like, right. Right. I'm in this movie. Are you I don't serious? Think he's, he's great in it. I, I don't think he's the right role for Milo. In the same way that you guys don't think Matthew Broderick... I is think he is. Him, but I, I, I think the, no, the I think, guy who did Jim Hawkins would probably have... Uh, is what I was imagining for Milo. I like the character... Moment. I just every every time like yeah. when I hear when I hear Milo go Jiminy Christmas I, I can't take it seriously. I really can't agree. All right. No, neither can um, I. Yeah, like this. Atlantis <clears throat> Lost Empire is mm. so is like I I, I don't I don't want to just be like oh it's so good like this to me like this to me is one of those films like this and Treasure Planet. If I could distill just the feeling of adventure into a film, it would probably be this film. Sure. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Um, like, just the sense of exploration and um, the the fucking um, John, the Leviathan in the beginning, like the mechanical, mm -hmm. uh, it's just a mechanical lobster. How do you make that terrifying? <laughs> Heavy lobster. Um, I control the just, lobster. The, um, or, or even, like, um, like, everything involving, like, the, like, the blue, like, the blue stones with that, uh, of Atlantis and, like, how, like, he'd interacts with it. Yes. Also, like, how he will just fucking die in this movie. Yeah. It yeah. is, uh, if, if I recall correctly, I think this is the last Disney movie to, um, depict the guns. No. I, 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 I could, I could believe that. Home on the, the Range, the, I think. The last been... animated movie to depict them, because obviously, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean kind of yeah, throws yeah, all yeah, of that yeah. out the window. Mm. Um, like, and didn't... obviously the Marvel movies. But whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm on point, yeah. It's like, this movie didn't didn't fuck around. Like, uh, I mean... Mm. Very well I, taste. I, I'm, Graham, I want to give you the opportunity to say everything yeah, no, you say. Uh, the, I fucking the supporting, love this movie, and I the want you to The supporting cast, everything. the fucking Mole Man, oh, mole the Prospector, um... The bomb Vinny. guy, like I, I'm Vinny, like, Vinny? you're talking about yeah. Vinny, Vinny the bomb guy. <laughs> Not one, but two kooky old men. A ton of characters <laughs> Nick would play in improv. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a Mick um, ensemble piece. Yeah. Um, it also is like, uh, it has Leonard <laughs> Nimoy in it. Like, holy shit, it has Leonard yes. Nimoy. It has Leonard Nimoy in it. I was like, what the? I didn't even notice that he was dead. So like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, um. Yeah, and then like the uh, it was the Colonel or Sergeant, like the the villain. Rourke. Oh, Holy Colonel shit! Rourke. Yeah. Rourke's chin. I love. Yeah. Rourke. I actually what really is wrong I, with I, Rourke's chin. Sound off, who's dead? I I actually really like Rourke as a villain. I think his like yeah, motivation is he's... super simple, but also <laughs> super realistic. Mm -hmm. Like and like like I. I remember like being so like scared as a kid, like when he gets like slashed by like the oh, that's... bats. Yeah, it's yeah, oh, that that God. was I didn't that was crazy. How that worked? He, he would... I, I don't, I didn't need to. I think that adds to it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I... Like, I yeah. Can like I, I do want to say like the idea of casting James Garner as uh, a villain. Oh my God. Yeah. Is yeah. Mm. It's such a. Um, uh, it, 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 he's he's so great as um, incidentally he is commander oh. by the way I didn't want to interrupt oh. because we're in the oh, middle commander, of all this you were okay. you're all of us were, all of you were wrong <laughs> um, I didn't want to just like interrupt um, yeah I mean it's got it like all the characters are great like um, uh, oh my god uh, what's going on? Good. Um, uh, like uh, the Doctor Sweet um, love uh, him yes so good uh, by uh, Phil Morris. Um, uh, I I mean, Cree Summer as Kida, uh, is like, oh my, amazing, uh, a, amazing. Um, what, what's mm. the term I want to use? Um, the, the radio, the radio lady. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I sleep naked. Wait, what was the line? That something like here. Take this eye mask. Mm. She means it. 
Uh, uh, great supporting cast. I agree. It's great yeah. cast in general. I loved yeah. everyone. The ch- oh yeah yeah Far- uh, cookie the uh, the the, yeah. uh, the the chef. Oh god. Got four <laughs> food groups: whiskey, beans, meat, potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah. Why Such can't cool Atlanteans read their own language? Because because they they for they've got it. We can't read like some of yeah. our own languages. Mm. All right, I, I can't thought... read Latin. I, I, I thought that that being lost to time, I wasn't sure I bought that. And my only other thing is, yeah. I think discovering Atlantis was really easy. Disney movie. I, I know. But but I, a I, giant I, I, robot lobster. Like, no, How much like, more difficult do you want? Like, like, did it, more, did it like, so, on the like, cave thought, there, like, did like, they lose most, most I thought of, like, finding Atlantis was Almost everyone there. died. Only the it's, named characters survived. This is all true, yeah. The red shirts died. I thought that the journey to finding Atlantis was going to take the whole movie. And to be fair, I don't mind that it didn't because I think that the movie is, like I said, it's paced super well. It jumps from scene to scene really, really well. Uh, I just, I just, yeah. Listen, I didn't act, I don't actually have a lot to complain about. Like, if you want to, like, look, here's the thing. Uh, like, I, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly that, like, um, the idea for this was based on the, um, uh, on the uh, fact that uh, in like it's based on the Jules Verne novel Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea because they discover Atlantis yeah. in that in a submarine and I I, I I like I shit you not their their discovery of Atlantis is like a footnote <clears throat> like it's maybe a page like they discover Atlantis remarkably yeah. quickly. Um, <laughs> All right. Well. Um, that's, so that's yeah. if anything, perfect. they drew it out. Con- um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, there is something I, I do want to say. Um, uh, is that I I love the I love the design of this movie. I love yes, the, definitely. Yeah. I love the contrast well, between design. between the. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't necessarily want to say steampunk because that's a, that like that word has been that's ruined. Um, no, I, yeah, I wouldn't say not that. Really steampunk. That's just sci-fi. Yeah. Yeah. If, I, um, if you had to pick one, I think I I, I would I. Yeah, if I actually, you know what? If I had to use, it, I'd probably describe Atlantis as being anything more diesel punk. But regardless, this sort of very sort of um, uh, Vin Diesel this, punk. What? <laughs> Vin um, Diesel punk. The, I, I, you know, this sort of, you know, uh, like uh, early uh, early twentieth century sort of industrial design with the their depiction of Atlantis is so interesting in that they basically kind of take they they almost distill it's almost like they took something from every single culture in the world and distilled all of them together rather than just being you know a bunch of greek columns underwater um because like there's some of it's a little bit mayan some of it's like some southeast asian it's uh some of it's some of it's got sort of an egyptian um thing and also and this is probably my single favorite bit um the crew that worked on the movie, they when they walked around the office, they made T-shirts for each other that said "Fewer songs, more explosions." <laughs> yep. <laughs> we I will say, that, yeah, um, I can see it. We just passed eight. We can probably talk about. Oh, yes. Yeah, you guys got to talk I'm about it. Yeah. Okay, so look, look, we ha- we need one where we just go for like sixteen minutes rather that, than that eight. is true. And this is, if anything, this is the one that deserves it. I, I actually yeah. would agree with you hundred percent. Well, this does deserve it. I mean, honestly, I can kind of tell where everybody's voting for. So I basically put up mine, uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame, just because I wanted to talk about it. Um, I find it very funny that these two were paired together because same directors, Kirk Wise and Gary Truesdale, who did Beauty and the Beast, uh, were, they were basically given carte blanche to do whatever they wanted after the, their first one was big in box office and got Best Picture. Yeah, so defining. they did... Yeah, so they did, like, two absolutely insane epic movies and we've already talked about how atlantis is absolutely insane and wonderful and huge and the hunchback of notre dame is a fucking epic of a movie that i was able to watch when i was a fucking toddler when when i couldn't even comprehend what it was about it's it's about it's it's so advanced for a kid's film i mean first of all it's one of two pieces of media seared into my soul as a kid that's based on a victor hugo source the other being lame is hunchback is <sighs> can I uh, can I offer some of my own thoughts about Hunchback of Notre Dame? Well, um, you are, you would be an authority, I think. So yes. So I want to. So I 
the hunchback the disney version of hunchback of notre dame i believe is an improvement on the original victor hugo novel it is um, <laughs> it is because they Better so ending. it's not just that so the uh i think you could uh quite honestly argue that the original is less of a novel and more of a long rant like a long anti-catholic yeah. rant well that's you for you yeah exactly but the disney version is uh the disney version changed that because frollo is no longer a member of the catholic hierarchy he is now depicted as actually in universe being a hypocrite because they make the uh mm -hmm. they make the um i think it was, i think he's the archdeacon oh, that, that, um, was it? it was it was really... he was a Count count a something. Judge. No, 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 no. Judge. I don't mean I don't mean Frollo because they they oh, have wow. the uh, they have um... the Archdeacon is the other character who chastises Frollo. All the time. Exactly, and yeah. so they, they are yeah, and so they, they basically they they kind of invert the um. Uh, they they kind of uh, they kind of invert them by making the uh, you know the uh, Catholic cleric the good guy rather than the bad guy, which is weird yes. for a Disney movie because you wouldn't expect them to go that route. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and all, mm. uh, oh, also, it is just basically a better ending as well. Overall, it is just yes. it's just a better movie. Um, Maybe I can add a few words. That's okay. But Jordan, <laughs> I also want to give you the chance to keep going. Uh... Yes, I mean the the one thing that most people point to as a flaw in this film, which is the comic relief gargoyles, including one voiced by Jason Alexander. They're included because they are the imaginary friends of Quasimodo, a deformed man raised without any friends, who is going insane. Yes, maybe it's magic. Maybe it's, mm. you know, fantasy aspects, but Question. Frollo has Christian fucked with Quasimodo's head. Mm -hmm. Frollo has fucked with Quasimodo's head so much that he thinks the gargoyles are talking to him. That is a very fucked up piece yeah. of this very fucked up movie. Also, I like their song, Fucking Sue Me. Frollo is the single greatest Disney villain ever because he's, that, he's pure evil that shrouds himself in the church because he knows most people can make the mistake of thinking that vindicates him. He commits all seven deadly sins over the course of the film, especially lusting after Esmeralda in one of the most mm. epic fucked up Disney villain songs ever written. What, what, Alan the, Mekin, the, the best, fucking lord. The best, the best villain song, I think, in any Disney film. Hellfire is, a, is, like, is, is uh, almost a Renaissance era night on Bald Mountain, honestly. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Counterpoint, and the, the, score French, just... the French cover of of that uh, of uh, of it is actually better uh, than the English. Hmm, really? I'll post that because you guys gotta uh, listen to it. It's great. Anyway, do it. Uh, the score just sears its shockwaves into me. The Bells of Notre Dame is one of the most epic refrains of any Disney song I love out there. Is fucking so epic. Much. Any song that has Clopin has is great. Shout out to the Clopin guy for being an unsung hero of this project and fucking Hellfire, of course. It is beautiful. It is haunting. It is unforgettable. I hate using this cliche. Disney would never make this movie now and yet i was born into it Murdered by it no um <laughs> incredible movie yeah you know honestly now that you've said all that i i'll save my thoughts for my vote actually mm -hmm. i'm sorry <laughs> no it's all good you've shortened my thoughts dramatically actually so because you've said so much stuff okay. i agree with all right. you. yeah we so can vote. Moving on to the vote all right so uh we go to the top of the turn order again with taylor um i like hunchback uh it's very, it's 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 poignantly dark for a Disney movie, which, as you just said, I don't think they would do now, uh, and I appreciate it. Uh, Quasimodo, Esmeralda, and the other one, all good characters. Uh, Jesus. But uh, yeah, I wanted to like the gargoyles. Uh, I don't like the gargoyles. I'm sorry. Uh, fun. And uh, eh, soundtrack's not my favorite, um, but I think it is really good. Oh, well. and, and you know what? I. I I'm 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 a little surprised. I didn't think I would like Atlantis. Uh, yeah, I guess I like it. Today I like so Atlantis good. more. Today I I, I Atlantis so good, got though. more yucks out of me. Um, got a great supporting cast. I I I liked Atlantis a lot, so I'm gonna vote for Atlantis. Good, good. All right. Next up is Mick. <sighs> um, it is with a heavy heart because I I love Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah, of course. Dom, whatever. Um, yes, okay. I unfortunately I watched Atlantis: The Lost Empire when I was a kid, and so there's a bit of nostalgia in influencing this. So I think I'm yeah. gonna go for Atlantis, even though I really appreciate. I like I I really appreciate the Hunchback of Notre Dame, but I enjoy watching Atlantis better. So Fair I think enough. that's how I'm gonna. Yeah. All right. Next up is you, Graham. Well, like I, I, these both deserve to win this bracket. I think, 
Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I, 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 I really, I really do think whichever um, one loses will claw its way out of losers. I guarantee you. Yeah. Oh, Honestly, I hope yeah. so. Um, I hope so. And that's why, like, I have to give it to Atlantis. Of course. Right. Next up is Jordan. Yeah, I never really. I mean, I kind of figured that Atlantis was going to win this one, but I still am glad that I got to talk about Hunchback of Notre Dame. It may do something in the losers, but the bottom line is I, I didn't even nominate this, but I got to put it as an upper honor mention and I got to talk about it, and that's enough for me. So, Hunchback, please. All right, and Christian. I know in the posterity vote, but I'll just uh, say some of my last thoughts that I had. Uh, this round was the hardest round to decide what I was going to vote for. Um, I didn't uh-huh. decide who I was voting for finality until five minutes ago um, because oh I God. had decided before the film leaves and then forgot. <laughs> so I had to rethink again, which is these movies I like more. It takes forever for me to realize. Um, the Hunchback of Notre Dame is uh, nothing short of a masterpiece. And uh, like it, it, uh, I, I have to say one thing that surprised me about Hunchback now and on this current reviewing is that I actually like quite a bit of the songs. Obviously, Hellfire is just mm-hmm. spectacular, and the Court of Miracles used to be my favorite. But the opener that Ooh. you mentioned, Jordan, the Bells of Notre Dame, that was actually oh, yeah. my that's my new favorite song. Well, I was like, well, I was like sick with COVID the other week and like <laughs> writhing in my bed. That I had the Bells of Notre Dame stuck in my head the whole time, and so like, because so it was good. such a goddamn good song that I was just like, I, I can't, it can never leave. It can never leave. Um. By the and, way, I do want to. I do want to say, um, we really lucked out with having the gargoyles being cast by Jason Alexander because they had considered Jay Leno for the role. Oh and, my god, uh, that no. might have ruined the movie. Yeah, like I already don't like yeah, the gargoyles. No, no. I still hate that at the ending of the movie, the gargoyles actually manipulate things and prove that they're real things, and that pisses me I off. I don't like that. Yeah, it pisses me off so much because I agree with you, Jordan, that it would have been so fucking cool if the gargoyles were just figments of Quasimodo's imagination. But it can't be like that. It seems. And honest to God, that small, tiny, indescribable slip-up from Hunchback was enough to get me to vote for Atlantis. Because I <laughs> because I love Atlantis so much. And Atlantis is a hard movie for me to talk about. I just, don't, I just love it. I just love this movie. Uh, it surprised me so much, I, I was like flabbergasted when I was done with it. So, um, It was a stupid little gargoyle that stopped Hunchback from getting my consolation vote. All right, four to one. We move that's, on to the losing petty. bracket. It is petty, but what else was I going to use? Welcome to the film, Lees. We're petty. <laughs> I literally had nothing else. Both these movies are a masterpiece. I need to find the one thing that makes it like a, a, like a, a master crumb. I don't know. All right. So we go on to the loser's bracket. We start. Here we go. Let's get through this. We're changing up the uh, order. Does anyone have any last minute things, though, to say about Peter Pan or Moana? Not really. No. Honestly, no. Right? Again, Moana is mostly okay. known for its how it looks okay. and how it sounds. And, you know, if you don't like either of those things, you're probably not going to like Moana. I think Moana could have used the proper villain. Damn it, Toy, you fucking can't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> what? <clears throat> Whatever, let's just vote. All right. We'll start with Graham. I have seen Peter Pan. And Peter Pan has seen you. I hope so. Is that your vote? Yeah. All right, Jordan. One of these movies has actual native people played by native people that aren't really stereotypical and racist. That one is Moana, so I'm voting for that one. All right, Christian. Um, what can I say except Moana? <laughs> what can I say except Mozambique here? Um, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that's that's a joke for all you Apex Legends fans. Anyway, Peter Pan. All right, and Taylor. Okay. You know, I might have voted for Moana before I saw Peter Pan, but Captain Hook really made an impression Ooh. on me on a rewatch that, like, I I Ooh. probably belly laughed the hardest with with Captain C- <laughs> with Captain Hook and the Croc. That I, I think that I, I don't dislike Moana, and I think I might enjoy it longer than Peter Pan. But the best parts of Peter Pan, I think, outweigh um, the overallness of Moana for me. 
did you laugh as hard as Christian wow. when I when I said uh, when I when I said uh, Jose she's Carioca. no Jose Carioca? <laughs> you know what? No, like, I'll just say I no. So hard but I laughed pretty hard. I don't think anyone was ready for Christian to laugh as hard as he did. He doesn't laugh that hard often. It's literally <laughs> like let's compare this small little girl to this <laughs> red. This like <laughs> forgive me. Smooth talking black magic casting. Yeah. Uh, Brazilian trickster parrot character. Literally, the comparison yes. made no sense, and that's what made me lose my shit. Of course not. <laughs> Next. Next up. That's the logic of the Graham Files operate on. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Next up is Big Hero 6 versus Fantasia. Versus I'm ready to be hurt. Are we ready to vote? Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm scared. Me too. Graham, you start us off. Uh, Fantasia. Jordan. I don't think you should be that ready to be hurt, Mick, because I'm voting for Fantasia. Okay, I'm not going to be hurt. Christian, <clears throat> even Taylor. if you weren't going to do it, Mick, I was going to seal Fantasia's victory. Mick? Fantasia. I'm sorry, Taylor. And Taylor. Thanks for apologizing. It makes everything okay. Big Hero 6. Because, like, I love I Big still Hero really 6, like Big Hero 6, man. Yeah, no, like, I, I, this is a rare, uh, uh, this is kind of a weird year release where I don't think... No, there's not a lot of animosity towards any of these picks, which I appreciate, but no. it's still, yeah. it's still yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't submit this vote. He's already you say... Admit it like you submit to me, Christian. <laughs> I'm trying to make it to I'm doing a bit. I, I thought really hard about this bit. <laughs> you just... Oh, boy. <laughs> I thought really hard about this bit. I'm going to finish this bit. I can't submit this vote until you tell me that you're satisfied with your care. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it, because that's what Baymax says in Big Hero, Big Hero 6. Are you satisfied with your care? Yeah. yeah. I don't know I... if I'm satisfied with my care. Will Big Hero 6 win? Please. No, I'm Save... sorry. If it wasn't against Fantasia, I would have voted it's... for it. I like Big Hero so 6. So a mystery man in a kabuki mask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, I was so yeah, happy. I remember... Like I, I remember enjoying Big Hero Six. I remember it being a very good movie. It's a good yeah, no, movie. I wasn't it's even just... prepared to like it as much as I did. We watched it. Uh, we watched a trilogy of movies. We watched Wreck-It Ralph, this, and The Incredibles. Um, yeah, which is funny because I also yeah. I think I also remember watching Big Hero Six with Clanky. I'm not sure. It was at it was my me, house. You, it was me, you, and Brendan in the crematorium. Really? Brendan was there? Yeah. I didn't even know. Yeah, Brent, Brent, it was me, Brendan was in the Brent, crematorium. Yeah, yeah. Me, you, and Blair. Brendan in the crematorium is like, that sounds, so, that it's sounds. Like, we, we used no, no, to call you, what Christian's that, old that, room the crematorium. Yeah. Okay. Because the boiler would make loud noises. Got it, okay, because I was going to say, <laughs> yep. that sound, like, um. Oh, that it's sounds me and like... Julio down by the schoolyard. <laughs> we have Treasure Planet versus the Three Caballeros. Anyone have any last minute things to say? I think if the Three Caballeros gets voted <laughs> off here, I'm going to cry. Like... Um, I have something to say. I'm <laughs> She's ready to cry. cry. Why? Because this movie's so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is hysterical. My favorite part of uh, Three Caballeros is when you get jump scared by the fact that there's actual humans in this movie. <laughs> yeah. Not yes, that's right. Real, that's right. I didn't tell you guys human. that there were real humans in this movie. Yeah. No. no. Why would you? All right. All right. Anyway, uh, Graham. I hate that there's an alternate universe where I'd vote for three Caballeros right now. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um. One day I will kill all versions of me, so I am the only Graham. Uh, there's only there's only two others above me, uh, which is why I'm the number three Graham. So I'm voting for Treasure Planet. All right, thank you, number three Graham. Jordan, you're up next. I don't know. I mean, Three Camaros is cool and all, but it doesn't have any songs of Goo Goo Dolls. <laughs> so I'm giving it to Treasure Planet. Yeah, sure. All right, <laughs> Christian. I think I mean this with the utmost of sincerity. While I think oh, God. while I think Treasure Planet is a better movie and I'm going to vote for it, I will forget everything in Treasure Planet before I forget five minutes to the three caballeros. <laughs> yeah. So I'm voting for Treasure Planet. Alright. Mick. 
Jesus ah, forget about Eros. Tell me, Donald. Have you ever been to Bahia? <laughs> and <laughs> I hate that there's an alternate universe where I vote for the three caballeros instead of Treasure Planet. <clears throat> I'm voting for we... Treasure Planet. You just need a little black there, magic, Donald. There are 674 tailors above you, so uh, you, uh, you got you got some work to do. Yeah, but we have a we have a non uh, non aggression pact. A quick huh. moment of silence for Alice in Wonderland as it's about to get decimated. Mm-hmm. Can I just say, if there is any movie that <laughs> deserves to lose, it's the Three Caballeros. Um, <laughs> I was I... gonna say, bite your tongue, Mick. Yeah. Like I'm gonna say, Alice in Wonderland probably got the like the, the most shit draw of luck of any movie in this entire project. Yeah. Like first yeah. up for his new groove, which is like one of the best and modern I... Disney movies, and Hunchback yeah. Notre Dame is one of the best Renaissance Disney movies. I, I I was gonna say like the thing is is that Emperor's or excuse me, Alice in Wonderland got pit against two very good movies. I'll even like accept that, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. we'll go to the top of the turn order again uh, with Graham. I say turn order, like I'm fucking talking about Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, that works for no, 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 it would have been Dungeons and Dragons if you said, okay, back to the top of the initiative. Yeah. Um, <laughs> everyone for um, initiative determine who votes in yeah. the year least. <laughs> Honestly, we should do that. That's a really yeah, good way I was going to say, it. that would be fun. That would be fun. <laughs> the sound of a dice being thrown in the background. Uh, next voting order, Clanky. You want us all yeah. to roll dice? Um, <laughs> it would be fun. Sure. Um, uh, but Graham, go ahead. Go. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. He's rolling. I think seeing Notre Dame, like, seeing Esmeralda as a control gave me my type, so I'm going to vote for Dragon Notre Dame. Fair. Jordan? I wish it was a different circumstance so I could be kind to your first ever wild card pick, Clanky, because I've been there. You know, it's quite all right. I knew this was going to happen as soon as I saw the bracket, so it's okay. Wildcard picks yeah. really are no. fucked sometimes. <laughs> Christian, you're wild up. card be like that sometimes. Um, <laughs> with more love and respect that I can possibly muster for Alice in Wonderland, I'm voting for Hunchback of Notre Dame. All right, Mick. Yep. Uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, man, this is going to hurt, Taylor. Uh, since it seems like this is the end of Alice in Wonderland, just really quick, um, I was invited to a Batman marathon with friends, and I accidentally spoiled the ending to Alice in Wonderland, which I didn't think you could do. It's like, you motherfucker, what? it's all a dream? Well, here's the, here's what happens in Batman um, Dark Knight Rises. Fuck you! <laughs> Can I just say, what, 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 no. that, the, thing that, the thing that really... Uh, I, I was... I just remembered about... because. Uh, of watching the long Halloween with Christian, and because th- there's a mm. there's a Batman villain called the Mad Hatter, and when he appears on screen, yeah. Christian had like an out of body experience, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> where he's just like, what what what's going on? <laughs> Yeah. It was because I did not know that he was specifically supposed to be the Mad Hatter, nor did I know that the Mad Hatter existed in Batman. Yeah. So my first thought was, yeah. oh, okay. And then the Leprechaun jumped on screen. And... <laughs> yes. yeah. On to back in Notre Dame. All right. Yeah. That sucks. This sucks. Uh, you're, tell- you're telling me. Yeah. Right. Right. The accordion at the end of no, it does not get. It does not get the song. Ba, 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 ba. Shut. <laughs> Fuck, fuck, fuck. Next up is Wreck It Ralph versus The Nightmare Before Christmas. If I mm. hear one more doot, doot, or toot from any of you, it'll be over. What about toot, toot, and doot? That's it. What about the dun, 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 Taylor's just mysteriously leaves the call. Do you have anything to say about these um, two movies? No. Guys, right. I love the Nightmare Before Christmas so much. And Guys, again, I'm gonna Wreck-It feel Ralph so so much. I'm gonna feel have... so bad if Nightmare wins because it's like it's literally like yeah. it's literally like the pro basketball player playing with preschoolers. Like it's not even fair. <laughs> you can, can, yeah. I, can I just don't say it's, it's, it's honestly it's honestly like it's honestly not because like it. I'm not gonna say that like the Nightmare because I don't actually think the Nightmare Before Christmas is better than some of these movies. It's just weird. It's like a zebra in a horse race. It's yeah. like. It's like technically yes. this shouldn't be here, but it is. Yeah, yeah. And, and no, you know, I, I, I obviously that. view that way because it is one of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah. So like, Same. obviously, to me, it is the the, be, the bee's knees. But 
Like, I totally get why you guys, like, some of you are not as crazy about yeah. it. Yeah. Well, actually, I think Jordan had the best one about it's a Doberman in a dog contest. It's because it, it's <laughs> yeah. like, this is not the kind of dog that would enter a dog contest. Like, it shouldn't be here, but it, it, it is technically a, like, it is a dog. It's just not like a, yeah. thorough, it's just not, it's not purebred. It's not, it can't be groomed. It's just here. <laughs> it's like if we let Sonic Heroes on the bracket in 2003. <laughs> But no, because oh, okay. that, that would have been that would have been one hundred percent like inaccurate for a anyway. two thousand three bracket. Are you voting for the Lion King or Sonic <laughs> here? <laughs> let's let's, let's, let's get on with the voting. Uh, we have yeah. <laughs> Oh wait, are you rolling That's initiative? What I you as well. Do we like, do we want to roll initiative? I do have two orders. No, just I just want to do those two orders. Okay, all right. So then, Mick, go ahead. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. All right, Taylor. Wreck It Ralph. Jordan. Come back to me. Christian. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh my and God. Graham. Uh, no, I'm, I'm saying, uh, I'm debating. You and um, Jordan both need to think. Yeah, I'm... <clears throat> I, I try to go with my heart, but my heart keeps changing. Well, um, I totally get it. These are really good movies. Mm. wreck Ralph. And do we go back to you, Jordan? Please, Jordan. Jordan come you know, on. You know, you know the Graham, right what I was gonna do before Graham, what I was gonna do before, uh, before you actually said Wreck It Ralph, what I was gonna say is, does it make it easier or harder if I do Wreck It Ralph right now? But well, now you're the so that's what I was gonna do then. That's what I'm gonna do now. So Wreck It Ralph. Wow, that's crazy, dude. All right, that's Nightmare, insane. tear up the losers bracket, please. Oh yeah, my right? God, it's going oh, against no. No. <laughs> no, 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 Christian. No. I mean, like. This is this sucks, dude. Oh because, like, even shit! Though, even though Alice was my favorite like Disney movie, Nightmare is my favorite movie on this bracket. Like, yeah, I know, right? That's oh, no. insane. Okay, that's... Oh, can we well. just say the Doberman is now up against like the incredibly well-trained <laughs> French poodle that has had hours of training <laughs> and years of years of year decade generations of breeding. Man, let's just rip off this bandaid while we're here. Lion King versus Aladdin. Oh, whose bandaid do you think is about to get ripped? I know what bandaid is about to get ripped, and I'm scared. I don't. Yeah. These are I two. Know these are two big idea. heavy hitters, though. So yeah, like, I, I actually don't know. don't know who I'm voting for. I know what I'm doing, though. I know who I'm. I know voting what I'm for. doing. Same. I know who I'm voting for. I just don't know how the rest of you are going to vote. <clears throat> All right, Mick, and start us off. Lion King. Taylor. Aladdin. Hmm. Jordan. Aladdin. Christian, oh. come back to me. And Graham. Lion King. You son of a bitch. Mm. You, you fuck. Mm. I even I put Aladdin on <laughs> as one of my entries, and I actually still don't know between these two which one I which one I like more. Like honest to God. Mm. I think I like the songs in Aladdin more, but I like the the everything genie. else in Lion King better. Genie. Yeah, Aladdin doesn't have the genie, but Lion King has Scar. Yeah. Man, I. Iago! <sighs> Aladdin. Very nice. That's the choice I would have made, too, to be fair. It was not yeah. an easy choice. It was also not the choice I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Next up The Princess and the Frog versus Lilo and Stitch. Okay. Do you have any last things to say? Amphibians. <laughs> oh, wait, no, this isn't amphibian. No, sorry. Ignore All me. Right. So then we go. Ignore me. We'll go to Mick. Yes, thank you. Uh, uh, Lilo and Stitch. Taylor. With a newfound respect towards the princess and the frog, Lilo and Stitch. Jordan. With a newfound respect towards the princess and the frog, the princess and the frog. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, Christian. Uh, something, something, whatever, princess and the frog. And yeah. Graham. You were making deals with the Shadow Man? He was very charismatic! Why does he sound like Watto from Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> <That's> incredible. <laughs> I he sounded like a character from like the, in my head, I thought he sounded like a character from like the Dark Crystal or something. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> but I also feel like Watto sounds like a character from I guess Star I, I might have like. Yeah, that's fair, actually. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh this. Wait. 
Oh no, the space Jews are here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Leave Letter Nimoy out of this. Well, speaking of Letter <laughs> Nimoy. <laughs> speaking of Letter Nimoy, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I've seen a very, I. There's a there's a really good argument that Lotto is like a Jewish stereotype. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. it's oh, clearly. Yeah, he did a lot of George Lucas did a lot of weird things feminist. with Rachel's yes. in, the, in the prequels. Mm. Anyway, um, your Jedi you know. magic still work on me. <laughs> uh, next up is a uh, Emperor's New Groove versus <laughs> the uh, Lost Empire. And the... Uh, um, anyway, yeah. <laughs> Anyone have anything to say about this? What voice was what that? Happened? That's that's Watto. It was Watto. Star Wars. I, I don't know what Star Wars is. I thought you were just like doing Cookie Monster. No, no, that's Watto. That's what he sounds like. <laughs> I you were just doing Hispanic Cookie Monster. Huh? <laughs> Mick. Uh, sorry, I completely forgot where we are. Oh, we're doing. Here. Oh, we're doing Denver's this one. New Groove. Yeah. Atlantis. Atlantis. Yep. Taylor? Um, you know, both of these are pretty good. I, I think um, I think the Emperor's New Groove simplicity um, works better for it. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, and Kronk, and yeah, Emperor's New Groove. All right, Jordan? Emperor's New Groove. Christian? Now this is a match where if I it's did rewatch the Emperor's New Groove, I probably would have voted for it. Yeah. Um, but because I didn't, and because the happiness of Atlantis is so much more recent to me, I have to go for Atlantis. Also, I just remember way more about Atlantis than I do about the Emperor's new group. Graham? I think, I think it just comes down to... Emperor's new group is, like, the objectively funnier, funnier film, but, like, there's still, like, that magic and mysticism in Atlantis that's making yeah. me vote for it. You don't want right. to know. Alice in Wonderland oh. died for nothing. Oh, no! <laughs> Next up! Alice never night... came back. <laughs> she went down the rabbit hole. She went down the rabbit hole and never came back up. Next up <laughs> is The Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm um, say so you versus... can still hear her screams from the hole. <laughs> Versus the Hunchback of Notre Dame. You know, when this bracket oh, started, God. I had pretty high hopes for The Nightmare Before Christmas, but now Same I realize here. I think Same a lot here. of you prefer a lot of these movies over Nightmare. Like, yep. And, Christian, and, uh, if I was voting with you, I would be right there with you. Absolutely. We, uh, we, uh, well, actually, let me tell one, if I could tell one more story quickly, I almost forgot to tell this story because, Clanky, you're the reason I know about Nightmare Before Christmas in the first place. Um, Is that right? Back in middle school, um, you sent me a video over Skype of This Is Halloween from Nightmare Before Christmas. However, it was not This Is Halloween. It was This Is Aperture. Um, oh, Christ. And it was a oh, portal version God. of the Nightmare yes. Before Christmas opening song. Um, I rewatched you, you it. You just gave me like, send the, the link after this. I might want to hear that. Of my life. If I remember, I will absolutely say that. Yeah, Clay is like, uh, and, and I rewatched it recently <laughs> for this. Because I, I I had remembered it for the film reason. I was like, holy shit, that's such an eldritch memory. Um, and yeah, then after that, I listened to the original This is Halloween, and then the rest is is history. So, yeah. So, Clanky, we go down together on this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a one last, uh, one new order, I should say. Uh, this is uh, Christian going first. Hunchback and Notre Dame. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> Did you imagine? <laughs> Nightmare for Christmas. Um, Graham? Thanks, Clanky. Uh, yeah, no worries. It's got to go to Hunchback. All right, Mick. Hunchback. Rip the Band-Aid off, Taylor. Would you be surprised if I voted for Nightmare? I, I A little bit, shocked. yeah. I'd be I, shocked. I, 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 I think I'm going to vote for Nightmare. Wow. I, I, Insanity. I'm a little shocked, too. I... That's, that, that I want. Works. I wish I had more complaints about it so that I could continue the joke, but, um... I, I I just I really think that I, I I like a lot about it. I like the setting. Fair enough. And then of course, Jordan, rip the bandaid off. Do it. As much as I absolutely adore Nightmare Before Christmas, I have to give it to Hunchback and Notre Dame. I'm sorry. Yeah. Nope. 
No reason to apologize. It's just your opinion. This was just... Halloween. This was Halloween. <laughs> and now I just have to say it is minor gone. instead. I just realized a good joke that I should have said when Moana was kicked off. I should have just said, whoa, what a terrible performance. Get that hook. Uh, but, you know. Next up is uh, The Lion King versus Treasure Planet. Graham, this isn't Christian? personal. I know. I'm voting for The Lion King. I like Treasure Planet, I swear. Sure you do. Next up, Graham. Christian, this isn't personal. Hmm. I like The Lion King, I swear. I'm voting for Treasure Planet. <laughs> Are you Damn. mocking me? It's getting pretty personal in here, Mick. The Lion King. Taylor. Jordan, this isn't personal. I, I don't know why. I, it's not personal. I just wanted to tell you that it wasn't personal. I'm voting for the Lion King. <laughs> Damn. Oh. It, now oh, okay, I was worried. Personal than before. Jordan? Uh, Clanky, this isn't personal. Of course. I understand. <laughs> but uh, but I'm, I'm voting for Alice in Wonder. No. Um, <laughs> okay, now it's personal. Now it's personal. <laughs> I'm voting for the Lion King. Yeah, now it really is personal. Damn. I'm sorry. I'm Welcome sorry. to the job. No, no, no. It was it was very funny. It's fine. Um, <laughs> all right. The Lion King. Man, some of these some of these are just so painful to watch. Like next, Lilo and Stitch versus Fantasia. This is gonna suck to watch because I really oh. love both of these. Oh. oh. All right. right, Christian. Um, Fantasia is fantastic, so I'm voting for it. <laughs> Fair enough, Graham. Uh, Lilo and Stitch. Uh, Mick? Fantasia. Taylor? Lilo and Stitch is Lilo and Stitch. True statement. And Jordan. I would be remiss if I didn't mention that Lilo and Stitch had one of the most ingenious ad campaigns of anything on this list. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. Oh, fucking the, they sing a whole new world were, and Stitch shows up. Yeah. Get your own yeah. movie. Yeah, oh. they were broken into by Stitch. And it's like, there were so many of them. And the whole thing is that they were telling, saying that Stitch was something that was ripping open the fabric of the Disney, of what is meant to be a Disney movie. So Unfortunately, good. Fantasia did that first about... 60 years before. So with much love and respect to Lolo and Stitch, I'm giving it to Fantasia. Really? You couldn't even get its name? <laughs> Lilo and Stitch. No, he said Lolo. <laughs> wow. He should have said Leroy My and mouth Stitch. doesn't work. Hello, LA Lola. <laughs> yes, I'm a Kinks fan, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do enjoy Kinks. I don't know what the music is related to, but I just want to stay my opinion. <laughs> you slip my dog. Should have been down dog. Okay, so next up is the Emperor's <laughs> New Groove versus Peter Pan. Christian. Mm, okay. No matter what I vote for, Peter Pan is always going to remain a classic, and there's nothing I could ever say that could change that. And I wouldn't want to change it. Um, <laughs> but I do love the Emperor's New Groove, so I'm going to vote for that. All right, uh, Graham. Um, Emperor's New Groove. Mick? Uh, Peter Pan. Taylor? I... Peter Pan might have Hook. Uh, Emperor's New Groove's kind of got everything. Mm. Fair enough. And Jordan? Sting's wife made a documentary about his music-making process for the movie that would turn in Emperor's New Groove, and it includes the money shot of Sting realizing most of his songs aren't going to be in the movie. And it is one of the funniest things I've ever seen, but it's not as funny as most of the things in The Emperor's New Groove, which I'm voting for. <laughs> I hate enough. that you said money shot. <laughs> All right. Sting. Sting. Bracket's heating up, but we're still in the loser's bracket. Wait, wait. Uh, mm. Sting has as many songs in this movie as my dad has copies of the sword Sting. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh... The, this entire losers uh, section is made up of things I at one point put up on the bracket, so that's pretty cool. Next, we got the most Shakespearean things on here. 
Yeah, is right. Yeah. Twenty one. No, uh, <laughs> but it okay. is very literary. I'll give it that. Uh, that's it's, sorry. It's like, Victor like, Hugo, Moonlight like Shakespeare. Shakespeare, and more in like sorry. I, it's themes and like. Look, I didn't know Lion King was Hamlet until someone pointed it out to me. I think it was Shakespeare and Quasimodo who like died at the end or something. He does in the book, so. Yeah. All right. Yep, Taylor. Yeah, there you go. Daddy does All right. Um, new turn order. We'll go with starting with Mick. <sighs> Come back to me. Mm. All right, uh, Taylor. I don't feel like I've uh, paid enough respects to Hunchback. I did really enjoy it, and it was actually the movie uh, on this bracket that I had been telling myself I was going to watch the longest. I think I had been trying to watch this movie for ten years, and it took the film lease to finally get me to do it, and I'm glad I did. Uh, the Lion King is better. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, Christian? I gotta be honest with you, man. I have no fucking ideas. <laughs> Skip me. <sighs> okay, Jordan? Well, I'm at least pretty confident that I am voting for The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I hope that it goes its way, but, you know. Fair enough. Whatever. Uh, we have to go back to Mick, right? Um, has Graham gone? Oh, Graham. I'm so sorry, yeah. Graham. I, I, I count, like, Lion King, Aladdin, Mulan, uh, and, like, Hercules. Like, I think those are all, like... If you had to ask me the rank, though, I really couldn't, because I figured, like, those are all equal movies to me. <clears throat> Hunchback is, like, that much above it. Uh, so that's why I'm going for Hunchback. Uh, I've made up my mind, by the way, of Mick, if you have not. You, yeah, you go first. Um, I, I'll just leave it like this. I think some of the feelings that the Hunchback of Notre Dame gives me when I watch it are things that are entirely unique, higher highs than Disney may have ever reached. And while there are a bunch of stupid, idiot, awful, terrible, no good, very bad gargoyles, the good. Did you just do an Alexander joke? The good yes. is too good to ignore. To the point where points of Hunchback will stick out to me more than points in The Lion King. I have to give it to Hunchback. Fair enough. Mick, you got an answer. Yeah, so what's the score right now? Three to one, uh, Hunchback. I'll give it to The Lion King. Even though I think I actually... I, I, I think I prefer Hunchback, but not... These are so close in my head. That's fair. That's fair. I think the mo I think I think it's mainly uh, I have more nostalgia for the Lion King, which is um, boying it, boop, like you know, uh, balancing it out. But you know, yeah, yeah no, that's fair. I know okay, I'm so conflicted right now, so I'm gonna give it to Lion King just because it doesn't really matter what I vote. I think there's only one thing to do. <laughs> I hope that was okay. I hope those were the lyrics. Great. You better have fact checked this. Yeah, I think I they didn't, were. I didn't. No, I'm sorry. If that was offensive, then cut it out. Listen, no, I don't no, think I've ever heard anyone sing it correct. Uh, yes. Yeah, so anyway, moving on. Uh, Emperor's New Groove versus Fantasia. Okay. Uh, Mick, we start with you. Fantasia. Taylor. I can't believe Christian did an Alexander in the No Good Bear. I can't believe I forgot the title. I fucked this joke I've up. I've been doing I this shit for years. Where have you been? Terrible, horrible, no good. I didn't know you day. knew what it was. I fucking adore that book and movie. Oh, no, i never seen the book or the movie. I just know the title. Well, <laughs> anyway, your vote. Emperor's New Good. All right, Christian. This is another situation where if I had rewatched Emperor's New Groove, this mm. would be a lot easier. <clears throat> um, thankfully... It's still easy enough for me to say that as much as I love Fantasia and I give it much love and respect, and it doesn't really need my love and respect, honestly, um, I'm going to vote for the Emperor's new group. All right, Jordan. The Emperor's new group. All right, and Graham. Emperor's. What? Emperor's Fantasia. Oh, okay. Got it. Can I root for, can I vote for Fantasia again? Yes. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I'm voting for Fantasia again. Jordan put two copies of Fantasia <laughs> on Nick's vote. I will. <laughs> Wait, it's Fortis. That's so funny. <laughs> Are you That's so funny. <laughs> so good. 
<laughs> I hope there's like one person who watches these that skips to the end just to see who wins and then just sees how we got there and they see this four to two and they're like, oh, who cameos? What is <laughs> It's Kyle. Solano. Oh my god, Michael J. Fox. <laughs> Can I say, Grant, the reason, the way you said that reminded me of the fucking Family Guy meme where yeah. Peter uh -huh. reacting yeah. to people that's, coming in the door. That's kind of like what my inspiration was. Holy crap, Lois, it's Kiryu Kazuma. <laughs> <laughs> the chairman of the Toshima clan. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. All right, let's keep moving along. Next up is Wreck-It yes, Ralph please. versus Aladdin. A.K.A. Uh, Taylor's going to suffer no matter what happens here. Listen, oh. I when I saw that these two made it together, I'm like, I'm glad that they could both get far enough to murder one of them. Mm -hmm. This is a good. This, this is like when a when a game in the yearlies gets this far for me, I consider it a win immediately. I feel that, yeah. Like once yeah. you get past the losers round three, you're yeah. a win. <clears throat> yeah, but you right. do whatever you Nick, want. You start us off. Uh, yeah, so, hang on, which one are we at again? Wreck-It Ralph versus oh. Aladdin. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Wreck-It Ralph. Alright, Taylor? I'm going to wreck it! Christian? Ralph. Um, with much love and respect to Wreck-It Ralph, I am voting for Aladdin. Jordan? Jafar, Jafar, he's our man. If he can't do it, great! <laughs> that is such a good moment. It's like, you know, it's Aladdin, but it's not as good as Aladdin 2 Return of Jafar. Like, let's be real. I like that movie. <laughs> Look, I, I can't even be mad at that, because, like, it's so funny. They gave we now return to Bad Boys 2, arc. Return of Jafar. <laughs> and Grant. Um, I, one of my favorite, like, tropes is when, like, a villain, like, is just, like, transformed into a monster, like, unwillingly. And while both of yeah. these have their villains transform, only one of them is technically unwillingly, so I'm giving it to Wreck-It Ralph. Ooh. Wreck -It Ralph? I don't know if they to kill you. Holy shit. Oh, I'm wow. So Wreck -It I'm surprised Wreck-It Ralph is doing so well. Mm -hmm. Don't lie. It's a fantastic, mm -hmm. amazing I, movie. I, I never thought it was... I, no, listen, I don't think Wreck-It oh, Ralph... Oh, no, I'm, listen, Clay, I'm right up there with you. I, thought I think Lion it's great. I just, I'm just surprised it's doing so well, yeah. Yeah, me too. I'm I really thought, shocked, too. I thought Nightmare Before Christmas was going to win the bracket. I'm shocked that it did so poorly, to be real. <laughs> Losers around, too. I can't fucking believe it. I'm still not over it. Lion no, King I, died. Like, I... Yeah. yeah, the Lion King. We're, We're making some wild decisions, man. All right, uh, next is Princess and the Frog versus Atlantis, the Lost Empire. Mm. Um, uh, um, uh, um, Mick? Atlantis. Taylor? This one's tough. Come back to me. Christian? <clears throat> I cannot believe Atlantis is doing this well, and honestly... I'll lead the fucking charge. I don't care. This movie's fucking amazing. With a lot of respect to the Princess and the Frog, I'm voting for Atlantis. They invented a language for it. <laughs> Anything that does that it's automatically gets points. Atlantean is a real language you can speak. <laughs> <laughs> is it a cipher or like is it an actual like? No, it's an actual language. They got the guy that did Klingon for um, <sighs> uh, Star Trek. What's his yeah. name? Mark Mark Orbink, something like that. Whatever. That's awesome. That's also, crazy. Milo is slightly based on him as well in terms of appearance. That's awesome. Um, <clears throat> because I, 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 I remember hearing a story where like one of the illustrators was like, yeah, I didn't know what a linguist looked like. <laughs> Who's Jordan? Uh, oh. My one criticism with Atlantis, and this is a weird criticism to have, was that I wanted more of it. I wanted more time in Atlantis. I wanted a longer runtime. I mean, that's one of the best criticisms you can give <laughs> yeah. anything. And I've also seen it more times than Princess from the Frog, so I'm going to give it to Atlantis against my better wishes. Fair enough. <laughs> Graham? Yep. Uh, I am voting for... I feel like this is like... I don't think I've had like two of my picks go up against each other as much as this bracket. Um, Atlantis. All right. And Taylor, we'll go back to you. Uh, yeah, I thought about it and I decided which one I would rather see go further. Not that I got what I wanted because I'm voting for the Princess and the Frog. Okay. Fair Sorry. enough. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, <clears throat> I didn't have an opinion about either of these until a little no, while ago. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. 
I'm surprised that Atlantis is doing so well too. Yeah. Me too. It's like one of those things where it's like surprised and then you remember like the movie and you're like, oh, never mind. It makes total sense. I don't remember being a big fan of this movie when I watched it, but it has been a while since I've seen it. So who knows? Okay, we, we have six left and there are a couple more I like uh, quite a good deal more. Okay. Well, let's get there. Let's get there. Uh, next up is yeah. going to be Aladdin versus the Emperor's New Groove. This time we will start with you, Graham. Um... Empire Strikes Back. I, so yeah, true. I, 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 I know what that is. Yeah. It's awesome. Next up is Mick. Wait. What did he yeah. vote for? He voted for the Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> Mick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm a poster of that there. Uh, is it because they both have hmm. Emp that he's voting for Emperor? Yeah. Yes. It, yes. It's because okay. they, they both. Yeah. Ember's new groove. Okay. No, the Empire's just, yeah. new strike. <laughs> the Empire's new groove. Oh, wait, fucking a mention. Uh, Jordan, go ahead. Aladdin. Christian. It is, um, you know, if I had rewatched The Emperor's mm -hmm. New Groove, <laughs> it probably would you not tried. have been made even close to a difference as to who I'm going to vote for. <laughs> I could have rewatched yeah. the Emperor's group yeah. ten times. I would still be voting for Aladdin. Damn, fair enough. And then Taylor. Emperor's new groove is great. I think it's very funny, but I think that its humor is the foundation behind its success. If you don't find the Emperor's new groove funny, I don't think you'll find any parts of the Emperor's new groove good. Whereas I feel like Aladdin has 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 it all adventure characters <clears throat> music animation comedy it's 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 the it's the full package uh i love emperor's new groove i i i'm happy to see how far it's gotten prince ali yes it is he ali Ababa. he's got the monkeys he's got the monkeys <laughs> let's see the monkeys all right so that's uh did everyone vote for that one did i get everyone Wait, what? Who did someone? Did I miss someone? Did you skip someone? Did did Mick go? Mick, yeah, I yeah. Ember's new group. Oh, sorry. Um, wait. <clears throat> so it's two to three. Uh, three to two. Aladdin, right? Uh, I guess. I, I know Aladdin won. Should we read you the votes really quick? No, because me, Jordan. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, so let's Christian just go down the route line again and see how this works. Yeah, everyone, just say what you think. <laughs> okay. All right. Graham. Um. You already voted. Don't now. change your mind right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, sorry. Like I was, I was looking at something. And I thought, like, wait, did we start like a new round of voting? Oh god. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. We all had a temporary scrum, <laughs> and we're doing it. <laughs> no, I, I, it's just because I'm ordering five. <laughs> I'm, I'm ordering uh, the, the, right the, now, so I fucking forgot. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 umpire's new groove. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Nick. Uh, the emperor's new groove. And the rest of us were Aladdin. Aladdin. Okay. Okay. Got it. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say Aladdin backwards. Nadala. Okay. I was gonna say Empire Strikes Back. Backwards. <laughs> All right, uh, Princess and the Frog, Hunchback, and Notre Dame. Uh, Graham. <laughs> Talk a minute. I'm gonna go Princess and the Frog. Okay. All right. Oh. Uh, Hunchback. Jordan. Nadala. Um. I found my sanctuary with the Hunchback in Notre Dame. Christian. The Princess and the Frog, I think, may, uh, honestly, even more so than Atlantis, may be the biggest surprise for me out of every movie, because I really felt like I, I lived most of my life <laughs> with people telling me how mid it was. Um, and then I actually watched it, and it was decisively not mid. Um, and like, Who are these people? Okay, who, who are you people? And I'm too ashamed to admit that it's the Nostalgia Critic, but he's definitely one of them. Wait, so. he didn't like Hunchback? <laughs> oh, no, I'm talking about the Princess and the Frog. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, a lot of my Disney opinions, honestly, I, I meant to admit this in the beginning, a lot of my Disney opinions are honestly influenced by the Nostalgia Critic, and I have to, like, unlearn That's those insane. things. Yeah, I have to unlearn those things as I live my life, and it's really rough. But yeah, um, with much love and respect to the Princess and the Frog for surprising me so much, I have to vote for the Hunchback. All right. Uh, Taylor? I feel really awful. I have not been kind to Hunchback, and, and, and it's I just... But I'm still not going to vote for it. It's 
rough. I I, I don't I, I it's, it's Jason so, Alexander, isn't it? Yeah, I it might be. It, Is it's he also Quasimodo? Just, no, no, he's uh, he's he's the he's the gargoyles. Oh yeah, right. You're right. Oh he's my god, one of, he's one of the gargoyles. No, I just I. It's George from Seinfeld as a I, gargoyle. I, I, I guess I just like. I just don't think its best moments hit me as hard as they hit other people. I just, I enjoyed it. I just, I just, I wasn't, if I had grown up, Princess and the Frog was, like, it it made me feel things a little bit, because I felt chilled when they went, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, that's a cool part. Fair enough. Still lost, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it it had a really good run. This is a top four. (laughs) We'll quickly move on. Wow, this that's a great four. top four. Yeah. It's a it's a very interesting top four, and not yeah. what I expected. The only one like, I would have all... expected it was Aladdin. That's the yeah, only that's one. the only one that's expected. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I expect the Hunchback Notre Dame to get the side. Uh, can I? I it actually is interesting because all four of these are very different movies. The Hunchback and Atlantis are the same director. Oh yeah. yeah. I know they have the same director, but these are still two very there's all there's still four very different movies like atlantis yeah. is a very different movie than hunchback mm-hmm. fair enough very yeah, right. atlantis is an adventure and uh, hunchback is kind of self-contained in its own <clears throat> it's little a, slice it, of yeah uh, it's a very character driven historical drama yeah as opposed to explosions uh, explosions right. are funny what do you say we get to the voting then yeah mm. aladdin versus hunchback of notre dame uh oh, are we still God. going in the same order who cares do whatever you want. It is every, it is every four, but for this case, who cares? Yeah. Okay, fine. If that's the case, then uh, we'll have Taylor vote first. I love Aladdin so much. I think I might watch Return of Jafar like sometime this week just to like experience <laughs> more of the world of Aladdin. And I never saw King of Thieves. Maybe I'll watch King of Thieves this week. Uh, this week. I also want to watch King Return of Jafar. Kind of <laughs> I also King of, Thie- watch King of Thieves is gr- King of Thieves is great. However, it 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 does involve a uh, uh, there there is however a uh, um, sort of a like a it, it kind of retcons something. Because uh, in the first movie... It you know, was, you know, don't tell me, because I'm actually going to watch it. Oh, no, 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 no. What I was going to say was uh, uh, the 40 thieves are mentioned in uh, the uh, first Aladdin. <laughs> okay. Alibaba oh, because Alibaba 40 had 40 his 40 thieves, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Aladdin, is the franchi- Aladdin is the franchise that like constantly keeps me craving more. And Hunchback, I think, is so self-contained that it doesn't need to tell any more of its story, which is fine for it. But I think when... Uh, when a when a when a piece of media can can keep me engaged with it and want me to absorb all of its world to make it feel classic, like that's the thing. Genie is classic. <clears throat> Aladdin is classic. Jafar's design classic. Jasmine classic. Just uh, Hunchback's got Quasi, and Quasi's classic. But um, I don't know. I don't even remember the knight's name. So eh, that's just Goodness. me. I, you know, you guys vote for what your heart tells you. Aladdin. I'm happy it got this far. All right, Jordan. What's the score so far? I'm sorry. Uh, one I, to I'm zero. Only one to zero. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is seven uh, to nine. Seven to nine Sonic Heroes. Choose wisely. I'm I'm grappling. I'm grappling. Come back to me. I'm sorry. No worries. <laughs> Mick, go ahead. Hunchback, 100%. Graham. Hunchback. Christian. Um, I respect Hunchback so much as a piece of art and what it like is capable of and what it has achieved is truly beautiful aladdin is the kind of movie that i think i could probably put on in almost literally any situation and it would always be great um i think aladdin is still my favorite 2d animated disney movie and uh i'm going to be voting for it all right uh so then jordan Jordan. we come back to you um my God, um, God have mercy on me! I am voting for Hunchback of Notre Dame. Holy shit! This could be very Prince interesting. Ali, yes, it was he, and now he's been murdered. I hate six that. regular men as well, well to be definitely. But who in here awful. is to blame? It's nobody. This is just a game. All right. 
And that's the way <laughs> this is done. It's Prince Ali. Next up is Wreck-It Ralph versus Atlantis, the Lost Empire. Taylor, you'll start us off. God. I want to see Wreck-It Ralph make it to the final round so badly. I think Atlantis is really good, underrated even. I was not expecting to like it as much as I did, but I don't think any part of Atlantis hits me uh, as hard as other things on this bracket, and none other than Wreck-It Ralph. It just can't compare. Setting, characters, score, animation. I think Atlantis's animation is lacking a little bit, if I'm being honest. Nope. I feel like it's mm. stiff. Okay. And uh, it's got to be Wreck-It Ralph. And I hope the Academy okay. feels the same way. Jordan? Taylor, you and I have that in common. I'm voting for Wreck-It Ralph. Mick? Atlantis. Graham. <clears throat> hey, look, I made a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lock you in my fun gym. Quote from Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> Sound off, who's dead? <laughs> All right. Is that your vote, Graham? Yeah, well, I already voted for Atlantis. Oh. I didn't hear you. My mistake. Oh, I definitely okay. didn't either. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't hear you either. Oh, yeah. Okay. You were just yeah. silent. I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> no, I, 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 I was like, I said it later. Just must have not been picked up. No worries. No worries, Christian. Um, I respect both of these movies a ton. If Atlantis wins this bracket, that might be one of the strangest things that that could have happened in this timeline. I'm, yes, and I agree with you. Again, like I had said previously, I will leave this fucking charge. <laughs> Because Atlantis was so goddamn good. So I'm voting for it. No! Wow. Mm. So we have Atlantis, the Lost Empire, which is just fucking baffling that this is here, versus Hunchback. Or, uh, anyway, wreck it versus Hunchback. Why the hell this isn't swell? You did this to me. <laughs> Is it my vote? Yep, between Wreck It Ralph and the Hunchback yeah. of Notre Dame. I'm gonna can need I... you to fill the I'm gonna need you to fill these up. Can with I what? Guys, can I be honest with you? I'm feeling the way Wreck It Ralph lost, the way Mick probably felt when Bloodborne lost. I'm not angry. I'm just genuinely sad. It got third place at in a minute. I know, but you know something? I in my heart Bloodborne didn't even make it that far. Say the <laughs> line, Graham. In <laughs> It doesn't thought... matter. We're all, we, none of us are qualified to do this. At the end of the day, this, this changes nothing about I'm anything. Allow, hey, uh, to quote Christian, I am allowed to be upset. That is also very fair. But if we're doing this, if it's Wreck-It Ralph versus Hunchback of Notre Dame, uh, I don't think it's going to make it to second place, but maybe someone will prove me wrong. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph. All right, Jordan. I just want to say, Taylor, that like it was insanely hard for me to vote at lab okay, because yeah. I knew that here, here, here was my thinking, because if it did make it back, it would lose to I thought Wreck-It Ralph was going to go to the end and I thought it was going to lose to Wreck-It Ralph and that. Uh -huh. But that would have been, Ralph was gonna go to that the end been a better ending second. for you. But at the same time, I needed to make sure that Hunchback won. Yeah, which, it would have been pretty bad if Wreck-It Ralph um, lost to Wreck-It Ralph. I want to make sure that like, you know, I genuinely love Wreck It Ralph. I think Jordan, it's you've been very movie. kind. I saw it. Both I movies. I don't know if you know this. I saw this. I, I got a, a whole gaggle of my friends together at my six seventeenth. No, no, not seventeenth. My yeah, I think it was my seventeenth birthday, and we went to see this in the movies, and I loved it. And. I am so sorry that it doesn't compare to a movie that I grew up with and molded me and it sears itself into my soul like Hunchback is. I'm voting for Hunchback, but I love Wreck-It Ralph. I understand. All right, Mick? Hunchback. Graham? Hunchback. And Christian? I know I'm the posterity vote, but... Uh, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> You know, 
Wreck It Ralph also really surprised me when I had first watched it. I think the first time I watched it was with uh, you and that gang at the time, Taylor. I think, uh, yeah, and Jordan, you were there too. Uh, and Mick, you were there. You were yeah. all here. <laughs> Yeah, the guest and, and you were there, Uncle Henry. You were there. Yeah, you Five were gold. There. Um, but uh, I was surprised because I did not ever expect the idea of a movie about video games to ever be passable. Um, <clears throat> but lo and behold, I think Wreck It Ralph. You know, it proved it before Sonic came around. It proved it before uh, fucking. The Witcher got its Netflix adaptation and proved it before. Well, that's a people. book adaptation. Yeah, that's a book adaptation. You know what? Count. You know what? You know what? Kiss just, me. Just uh, the bandit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, while I have a lot of respect for wreck and Ralph and it holds a special place in my heart, I am going to be voting for The Hunchback of Notre Dame, but I give a lot of love and respect to wreck and Ralph. Fair enough. And now we're going to retread one of the first rounds. Farewell to oh my the Let's do it. Taylor? Listen, this is not the winner I expected. Uh, Neither is. Me. And I don't honestly, think anyone expected it. But. Even me. Fuck it. Atlantis wins. <laughs> so you're running Atlantis? Right. Yeah, I am. Jordan? I put in Hunchback of Notre Dame as a honorable mention. I thought I'd get maybe two rounds to talk about it and it lose somewhat dignified. I thought it was going to lose in the in loser's bracket to something like Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, well, that would have so been crazy, wouldn't it? I thank all of you who've helped it get to this point and I never would have thought this would have happened and I'm very grateful that you guys appreciate this movie as much as i do the hunchback of notre dame please okay mick come back to me graham <clears throat> graham uh, i said atlantis got it okay oh well once again it didn't pick up yeah he's underwater i'm in the sub <laughs> he's, he's gonna kill 10 million people <laughs> jiminy christmas it's a machine <laughs> no pinocchio's not on the bracket oh all right, guys, 20 seconds. Uh, Just vote so I can say we, we did this at midnight. Oh, it's 12, yeah. Well, we made it to the final round on time, so that's, that's all I really care yeah. about. Um, okay. But, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, both of these movies are the uh, the worthy of being called the best Disney movies ever made, um, even if people don't talk about them that way all the time. And maybe, who knows, maybe, maybe like, I got I to gotta say, I thank you for this film, Lise, because... If it wasn't for this film, least I would not have watched the movie that I am going to vote for, which is Atlantis, The Lost Empire. Oh my Got gosh. it. And then I believe we have to go back to Mick. Wow. Yeah, so it's 3-2 Atlantis? 3-1 Atlantis. 3-1 Atlantis? Oh, yeah, you're right. It's 3-2. You're Atlantis. the sixth vote. <laughs> um, I am going to... <clears throat> I am going to vote for... Because my vote does not particularly matter, I am going to vote for Hunchback. Okay. Thank you. And what the that, fuck? Atlantis Hello, wins, which is just so fucking Hello, crazy. By far the most That's critically bizarre. hated movie on this bracket. No, I would say Treasure Planet might be more critically hated. Sorry, Graham. Uh, I actually, if I remember correctly, I think Atlantis did really well critically, but got yeah. But like, it just was a but bop, both a, both was a, both Atlantis and 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 um. <clears throat> Treasure Planet were, I think, were like critically well received, but did not do box well financially. Box, yeah. Yes, I would also say that, like, I think Big Hero Six wasn't really critically received well either. Nor was the Princess uh, and the Frog, honestly. Uh, yeah, uh, the uh, true. Uh, also, the Nightmare Before Christmas did terrible at the box office as well because it released the same day as as Home Alone. Oh wow! Okay, right. fine. <laughs> Wait, Home Alone one. Yes. Yeah. I actually need to watch that at some point. Jeez. And so I want you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, dude, let me watch that with you. I love that movie so much. Sounds good. It sounds like a plan. Uh, and the second. The second's even better. Um, can um, I do the outro for this one? I'd, uh, actually, yeah. I'd like to do the outro for this one. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Um, so, sure. Uh, thank you, everyone, for the first ever film lease. Uh, and I, I say that to, the, mm. to you know our audience, of course, but I also say that to you, you guys. Again, I think one of my favorite experiences, like about this film, is was watching all of the movies for the film. Movies was so much fun. I mean, it helped that they were all Disney movies, but like still, like it was just a blast. 
I am so excited to do this again with, I believe the next one is going to be the Pixar Lees, um, or whatever. Pixar. You, yeah, just Pixar. Um, yeah, Film Lees Pixar. Yeah. And, I'm, pro- uh, I'm probably, I'm the, I'm the host for that one, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Clanky, you're going to do Pixar cool. with us? I, if, yeah, if you need a last person, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So, yeah, hope you all had a great time, uh, and hope you all had a good time watching, uh, and, Please tell us your opinions on Atlantis, The Lost Empire, because I want to hear them, because I want to know if other people actually fucking like this movie. Um, and subscribe. I want to see the number go up. The funny number. The funny number. Ooh, yeah. Um, right. I'll Smash. subscribe and then resubscribe. It'll be funny. Yeah. Anyway, someone say name. Yeah. I'm watching you so we can end the video. Craig, I'm watching you. Oh, mm. That's such a good name. I know. Yeah. I'm sure. Eric. Jordan, I'm watching you. I'm looking at you right now. Turn around. It's your house. Thanks, Taylor. I love you too.